Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy-ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Uh, before we get into tonight's session, we do have a few announcements to get through, beginning with the first of our two sponsors, uh, beginning tonight with Skillshare. Sam, Skillshare. if you don't mind. Back this week is Skillshare, an online learning community with tens, nope, with thousands of classes on creative and entrepreneurial skills for the curious mind. Premium membership gives you unlimited access on classes from everything uh, from personal productivity to art, animation, photography. Skillshare is affordable with annual subscriptions starting as low as 10 bucks a month, and there's a special offer for you critters, two month premium membership free. For the, for the first <laughs> for the first 500 people who sign up now at skl.sh/criticalroll2. I don't know why. Okay. It just is. The word two or the number two. The number two. It's it's on the screen. Okay. Now I checked out their classes <laughs> and I noticed they don't they don't have any classes on the one skill that I'm best at, being a corporate shill. So tonight, <laughs> tonight I'd like to offer a class called Online Advertising 101 with yeah. Professor Sam Regal. No. <laughs> Greetings, class. In this seminar, I don't know how to hold a pipe. <laughs> In this seminar, you'll learn the fundamentals of satisfying sponsorships of tabletop <laughs> RPG streaming shows. Harry Potter! <laughs> there are many ways to do and add, but to be a shield for your sponsor, you must master the pinnacles of the form. Uh -huh. Raunchy poems, mm -hmm. cheap costumes, and fake movie scripts featuring 90s sitcom icon Gale. Right. Right. Lesson one. Fake. <laughs> when right. brainstorming, always begin with the mat system. That's M A T T. It's a, a mnemonic. A mnemonic. <laughs> <laughs> M, M stands for music. Buy, uh, buy a cheap rhyming dictionary and compose a masterpiece like this one. Pull up a deck chair, pluck out your ear hair, saw your underwear, Skillshare! Woo! That's, wow. That song cost them $700,000. <laughs> A of the MAT system stands for accents. Foreigners love being made fun of. For beginners, try Italian. Oh no. Hey, I'm from Italy. I own a Vespa and eat at the gelato. I love the Skillshare. Buongiorno. Oh, no. <laughs> no. That was no. better than a lot that of your other yeah. Yeah. Video game yeah. 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 T of the MAT system Roger. stands for, oh shit. Oh uh, uh, shit. I, what? Uh, I, uh, shit. What? You're I, was, a prop? I was supposed to have a prop. A prop but I, what? I forgot it. Max! Max! No, you're supposed to keep going! I'm just gonna keep just going. I'm just gonna fake That's, it. Okay, I'm gonna fake it. it. Is, okay, T stands for terrible food. When in, when in doubt, just be gross. Like this, what was supposed to be a cup of beer and ranch dressing. Maybe oh, it is. God, it's not. Skillshare. That was so much better. Please forget things. And the last T of the mat system is time. People love long advertisements. The, the, the audience tunes in to find out what will happen after their favorite character tricked a witch with a cupcake. But you, the shill, must stall as long as you can with ad copy that seems to go on forever like this one. Well, that's lesson one. Future lessons will, how to, uh, will cover how to piss off the crew with technical requests. How to... <laughs> How to deal with an irate sponsor who hates your underwear song, <laughs> and how to make Laura Bailey regret sitting next to you yeah. for two years. Yeah. Until then, Skillshare. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, oh, that was oh, yeah. one of the finer. Drink, I didn't get to drink the beer and the ranch dressing. Oh yeah. no. Oh, yeah. We're so sad. Oh, yeah. That would have looked like. That was like oh. seeing Little Women again. <laughs> There you go. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> and thank you, Skillshare, uh, for your patience. Wow. Uh, <laughs> our second sponsor tonight are our returning friends for all of Campaign 2 of Critical Role, D&D Beyond. D &D Beyond! An amazing online tool for digitally keeping track of your campaigns and or D&D characters and all sorts of rules and content. They are amazing. If you haven't checked them out, you can go ahead and do so at D&D Beyond. That's dndbeyond.link slash Critical Role. Back to perfect warlock. Uh, that one. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Ashley, for your uh, support on that one. The spirit moving you. It's yeah. moving you. It's good, uh, you got to move through you. You got, you got to let it carry. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Tune, but it's the lyric, and I love that tune even more. <laughs> it is. Um, so, <laughs> next up, uh, we announced today as part of uploading our uh, new Handbooker Helper for the Monster Hearts yeah. 2 Woo! game. Out of the blue. Yep, out of the blue. That's what we do. Um, for those who aren't familiar, Monster Hearts is a great game system uh, that uh, deals with kind of the angsty teenage experience, but you're also secretly monsters. Um, it's really it's really fun. It's a really unique form of really narrative, heavy role playing game. We put up our new Handbooker Helper about it, and we are doing a Valentine's Day one shot that'll be coming out. Out next Friday for you guys to check out. Super excited about it at 7 p.m. here on our Twitch channel, and then it'll be available uh, on our YouTube uh, shortly thereafter. But for those of you who uh, are either staying in for Valentine's Day or want to go and check it out over the weekend or thereafter, looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm the master of ceremonies for it, the MC, and we have a wonderful cast that includes right, right here our wonderful uh, Talison Jaffe and Ashley Johnson. Oh, yes. Joining us, we have our longtime friend and amazing person, Eric Ishii. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And joining for the first time the Critical Role family, our friend Ali Beardsley. They're an amazing role player you may know from uh, Dimension 20, as well as College Humor. They're fantastic, and we're so happy to have them aboard. So uh, oh. check that out next week at 7 p.m. on our Twitch channel here at Critical Role. <laughs> Um, Marisha, you have an announcement. Speaking of content, if you want more <laughs> of Sam aimlessly talking into microphones, <laughs> you need to watch All Work No Play. <laughs> Liam is there oh, yeah. too. You need to take yes. that. Yes, <laughs> I do need to take that. I'm I'm an independent creator, okay. not a corporate shill. Mm. So, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a polished language. <laughs> I produce art, um, like All Work No Play. Oh, so right. yes, the uh, first yeah. episode is available right now on YouTube. But Sam and Liam made it's chainsaw. So good. Oh shit, it's yeah. so funny. I had the same reaction watching it that I did with our first, our earliest podcast episodes, where when we did it, I'm like, this is not that good. And then I watch it, and I'm like, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> well, Julie Nathanson really yeah. steals yeah. the show. She's she kind of makes it. Definitely carries and her muscles anyway. Linda Hamilton arms. arms. Oh, yeah. Right? Her yeah. that purple tank top. Oh my god. I immediately started doing push-ups. Oh my god. <laughs> while watching the episode. Yeah. I didn't Sarah, Sarah, Sarah Connor level. Sarah Connor level. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Before I objectify my good friend Julie Nathanson, <laughs> um, yeah, you should catch it right now. And the next episode will air Tuesday, February 18th at 4 p.m. Hell. That's not this upcoming Tuesday. Not this it's the Tuesday. The next one. A uh, next. That's right. Gotcha. Thanks. Cool. Hey, hey, hey. Was that your Italian accent? Uh, you, <laughs> couldn't you tell? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> wow. Five years later, what? still fresh off the noggin. <laughs> What's going on over there? I'm a little worried about Italy now. It's just like, <laughs> everybody okay? <laughs> oh no. What sounds so weird? I'm next a, up uh, Tuesday. <laughs> Let's go. Go. All right, yeah. moving on. Uh, <laughs> Laura, Laura, yeah. you got some announcements too. Woo, I do. Oh man. First of all, we got new stuff in our yeah, stores, the US shop and the UK shop. Let's cut to this fabulous cut to? chain. Oh. Yeah, I think oh. there's got it on the table so that you can get it back. Oh, look at that. Ooh. I don't know if it's on the, I don't know. But yeah, it's this beautiful, and it spins. Yeah, do the demonstration. Okay, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna pull do it. The, oh, take it, take it. Cut to the other ah, ah. There you go. I'm gonna take it. Look, ooh. Okay. It spins. Whoa. Whoa. Well, this one isn't. Spinners, Hold on, I'm not doing You're it very well. There. Your there we go. Shut up! <laughs> anyway, it spins. And it's got this fabulous copper finish. <laughs> Anyway, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> the silk. Wow. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there it is. There you go. Right, it's right, copper right. style. It's copper oh, style. Okay. Um, it's copper. Do, 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 copper do, do, style. Do, 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 do. Oh! oh. There. Uh, do, do. Num, num, num. This is, wait, where's the logo? There it is. Give this it is called Bailey's Dice Bag of Hoarding. <laughs> um, it's the size of your head. Dee -dee. Um, yeah, so this was a bag that was inspired by the bags made for several of us. I don't know if she's made everyone a bag, but only the ones that she really loves. Christina Allrens, I hope I'm saying your last name right. She's on Twitter at MaraJ33082, and she's wonderful. Um, so she does custom bags and everything, so other people do custom mm -hmm. bags as well. But ours, Now we do custom bags. Well, ours is not custom, well. but it's beautiful, <laughs> and it's got these <laughs> fabulous lining. Anyway. Oh, yeah, the lining it's got a fancy is all lining. cute. Is it Windy Doodles? Windy Doodles. The windy doodles. Windy doodles. You can hold it yeah, up to it. Yeah, and it's got a wonderful yeah. bag. Hold on, look at this. 
And it'll hold lots and lots of dice, I know, because I put everything from my my dice bag that in here to make durable. sure. Can I use that for all my hardware needs at all? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, you can it's keep got nails super, in there. It's got a super sturdy <laughs> bottom, though, so the it won't like lose its shape. Screws and nails. Anyway, I love it. Uh, <laughs> check it out. Oh, and also, for anybody that's going to C2E2, um, people have been asking me if our merch is going to be there, and we're not going to be selling it personally, but uh, a lot of our stuff will be at the C2E2 merch booth, so you can go there and the, get some. At the C2E2 yeah, merch booth? Did I say that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. 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 It's at the C2E2 merch booth. Okay. Actual okay. convention. <laughs> yeah. And still Laura. No, I mean, just think security never heard of such on a camera. Thing. Yeah. yeah, it's There's a cool. merch booth there? Cool. Yeah, they sell, like, you know, the con yeah, stuff, they, but they're cool. also going to sell our stuff. They have, like, their big booth speaking, like, go. I don't know. Shut up. I don't know things. I've got a layer. I'm debating. I don't know whether to keep it in my custom bag or put some in my. Maybe I'll just. Put the ones that are in my other bag in you this have one. Plenty. You can to get smaller oh, did you hear dice that? bags. Someone to besides put me speaking truth, slinging it. What'd you say, Marisha? You don't have to Nothing. fill it up. Nothing. I didn't say anything. It was Travis. Travis said everything. Travis. 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 The laser beams. Matt, I think it's back to you, bro. I think it might be. Uh, thank you, Laura. Thank uh, you, Matt. And I believe I have a that marks the <laughs> end of all of our Ooh. announcements, and as yeah. such, Let's go ahead and jump into tonight's episode of Critical Role. You guys are so late on the draw by time. <laughs> uh. Welcome back. So, last we left off, the Mighty Nine, in discovering that the, the curse that still holds not in her goblinoid form after her initial transformation years ago remained and apparently was still held by the same magical woman that had originally imposed this curse upon her. You traveled your way through Camorda, had a uh, tense experience meeting the Lionette family, who also has attachments to this entity you came to be, came to discover was named as Asharnai, the Prism Sage, who lived to the northern forest marshlands amongst the bases around Mount Mentiri. You traversed this dangerous landscape, dealing with various pockets of unleashed acidic moisture and and steam bursting forth from the geothermal ground itself. You lost a few horses and let the others wander. You made your way through swamps and got lost, got exhausted, dealt with fighting a few gorefeather harpies, and then eventually found your way to the base of Mount Mentiri to the exterior of the abode of Isharnai, just as the sun set. Upon looking around, you eventually discovered this creature invisible on the roof, watching you all as you were just investigating her homestead. After which you had some conversations with her, discovered that she could offer many things, and just like she has in the past, in exchange for a touch of your own fortune. Seemed to have thrive on misery for those who ask for too much. And 
after some very emotional conversations and thoughts about what some of you are willing to sacrifice, to trade for this curse that still remained on Nott. Jester bamboozled her and me um, through a, a, a clutch combination of Dust of Deliciousness, a random magical item I made up and gave you back in like episode 30, <laughs> and, and used it to modify the memory of her, to convince this, this crone-type creature that she had such an amazing time and you guys bonded so quickly. And in this time, you, she just was happy to release it for your companionship, and you left, walked outside into the dark night as you were all tired and wondering what happened, to have Jester go, go, we have to go, now. So as you all were quickly ushered off the, the uh, this somewhat moss-covered, darkened hut, the dull interior candlelit glow that pours through the partially ajar doorway, you all spearhead downward back into the swampy valley that awaits you as night has just begun. And that is where we left off. So. As Jester is quickly ushering you down into the darkness, what do you Quick, do? Quickly, why, why are we cast going? by the happened? path. Oh, <laughs> I don't have that repair. Okay, right? great. Okay. Let's find the path. It's a, it's a it's a spell, so I can find the path. Oh, I, but I don't know. I thought you know she'd be dead, and we wouldn't have to be hurrying that or anything sense. like that. that so, um, Caleb, Caleb, just teleport us away from here. Oh, I, uh, oh. What happened, though? What do you what mean, happened? Oh. What, what, you are saying this as we're walking, right? We're it? going through the brambles well, wait, now. Wait, 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 no, no, because, wait, wait, though. What? Wait, 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 what? Oh, yeah. Don't what happened? You are, you, are we okay? Kill her and what happened? everything's fine. Did you give up something? Uh, something, yeah. Uh, like, the real special. <laughs> <laughs> A real special? Yes, yeah, a real What's special. A special? It's, it's like. Sprinkles, name. It's a, it's a yeah. dish. Spretzies are the best. You made a spretzel <laughs> out of sprinkle? Oh. No, sprinkle's fine. Look. Oh. What's a spretzel? Mm. Okay, guys. Yes. <laughs> um, he has no hair dresser. What? He's I'm going to just, just get side. some food out and those feet sprinkle as we talk. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's eating. It's, 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 he's fine. It's like beef jerky. It's fine. He's so dry. <laughs> you all go down. <laughs> this is a show about a weasel. <laughs> oh, wait, are we in danger? Do we need to run? Well, we are well, moving at pace, aren't you know, we? Yeah, we are moving okay. at pace. You are. I maybe. I just. Look, I'd rather not say this right now. Like you know, I gave away something really special, and it's fine. It's fine. We should just go because I don't want to like. Is is not good though. Yeah, is are we fine? taken care of here? Is my yeah, yeah, everything's fine. Is Look, my, your course is broken. Is my brother good? What do you mean? She said she she. What did you? I don't know. You I didn't make a questions. deal, did you? No. Then your brother's fine. Well. Right. Uh. What? What do you mean? What do you mean, your brother? No, just keep going. Okay, so we need we need to go. It's fine. Not as no, good. Oh, keep walking. And and Caleb, you said. Oh, earlier to the teleport request? No, I did not, I don't, I do not have that ready. Wait, oh, okay, oh. Okay, can oh. you, do you have find the path? Can you find no. us a path? I, so I can definitely you found the path that. before. I'm I did, going to... but you know, I kind of prepared some spells at the beginning of the day and I didn't prepare that one. I'm going to turn around and just look to us. see, yeah, I'm going to look behind us. Oh. Because I thought we'd be fighting oh. and so I made a, I, I prepared like a heal spell instead. Because, you, know, you know, 22. We have a certain way of doing things. Normally we raise yeah. things to the ground, so I did not think that we would need to escape in a hurry. Yeah, no, that's true. So yep. I came prepared to fuck shit up, but I cannot get us out. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, act as if, basically. We just walk like, you know, you traded something that she loved, I did. and not's fine, and we're gonna make our way out of here, like we do before. Yeah, we're walking away confidently and happily, and but knowing the, the that- the deal is closed, why, why do we need to rush, though? Well, um. You hear the, the nocturnal creatures are starting to come out. The night has definitely claimed the dense forest as you guys feel the ground beneath you at this point beginning to turn a little softer, feeling the moisture of the swamp approaching. You do not see anything immediately behind you beyond just the occasional dark shadow of some sort of nocturnal flight, bird or predator finding its way out for an early evening bite. I just, the thing that I gave her, 
you know, I've never actually given before or used, so. What did you give her? I gave her. Did you kiss her? Yeah, I gave her a real big smooch, and she loved it. She was like, I don't oh believe my gosh. you, Jess. Will you tell us what you gave her, please? I hadn't even gotten to that. I gave her a cupcake. My last one. I gave what her my last really one. I her? gave her a cupcake. And that, and that, that was enough. Was enough? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How could a cupcake possibly be enough? I don't feel any different. You're telling Not me that prepared to give the war. curse has been lifted on me. Not, Do I look different? I was in the room, and the whole room went dark. And she waved her hand, and she said the curse was broken. The whole room went really, like, magically dark, you know what I mean? And I, I believe her. You believe her? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, I suppose if it's not true, we could always double back. What? It's, it's fair. Why don't we just make the hut or something? Uh, and finish the job? Yeah, what? it doesn't seem like a deal would be concluded with a cupcake. Maybe we should take care of this ourselves. Well, let's, let's. You don't trust me? I trust you. No, I trust Let's you. I just don't get believe as far as we're You just don't believe tonight. me? That I you don't believe me that I would know the difference of if it. a curse was broken and a deal was made? How would she break a curse that's been hanging over not for years yeah, over a yeah. cupcake? What flavor was the cupcake? It was blueberry. I mean, I'll do a lot for blueberry. Okay. Cupcake. It's been a minute since you've gotten any new cupcakes. How old was that cupcake? It's pretty old. <laughs> <laughs> what are we missing? The frosting was like. Real still. Well, I tasted it. To be fair, she probably eats like, you know, earthworms and uh, exactly. fungus and stuff. This so maybe. Very, very confusing. Plus, it had some of that stuff that Pumat gave us. We okay. need to get somewhere safe so we can talk Wait, this out. What was that last part? Um, you know, that stuff? No. That, the, 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 the dust that we remember we talked about and makes food. Oh, taste really good. oh, that. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. What about so it made it taste good. Pretty, we have pretty, pretty damn good. Can I look good. behind us? Yeah. Is anything following us? Is anything Make a perception see? check. I'll join you, I'm just going to keep doing this. Yep. I don't care, I'm going to look anywhere again. 27. Oh, you saw way more than me. 17. <laughs> 17. Um, for the time being, no, you, you don't notice anything behind you. Uh, the, the air is cold and the mist is rising in the swamp as you guys begin to now hit the elements of the mud and water that you're now ankle deep and you can hear the you guys, this is probably dangerous to traverse in the night. Should we go in the hut and just sort of camouflage ourselves? Well, it's soggy. Maybe. It's, I don't really know if there's... Oh, well, we find solid ground <clears throat> first. Let's find somewhere to put the hut, maybe off the beaten track. What do you yeah. need to do the ritual for not... Oh, oh, uh, oh boy. It has been a week, you, you guys. Got stuff? Do we need to start collecting clay? Uh, Wait, yeah. Not that ritual. That just, no, no, what, no, no. What? She is what? talking about not ritual, but no. Let's no. Do, that takes it, like an hour. We do that at Whoa. home, I think. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Let's make yeah, the hut. Not while we're running. What if no. it's not broken? Well, we can it's come. It's broken, though. How though? I'll tell you if we get the hut up, okay? I'll talk to you guys in the hut. Mm. Well, right, well, let's find a bit of dry, dry ground sure. if we're able yeah. to. Okay. 10, 10 to 15 feet. Ground for solid ground. Make a survival check. Survival. You're a survivor. Just me, would anybody uh, give me guidance? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any advantage, because people are also, ooh. Um, 20, what is that, 23 plus a d4. Wow. Damn, Jester. Wow, 26. Jesus. 26, okay. That was one hell of a roll. All right, you go ahead and uh, it, it takes you about an hour, because you either have to get really far off the beaten path, or you kind of have to push forward. And you're like going forward. There's a chance you might find. It's easier to find things that break the surface when it's not as shallow, but also you're off the beaten path and you know where you've traveled, and that's the safest, or at least the most immediate distance between where you are and where you're going. Okay. It takes about an hour before you find a patch of land that is mostly above water and can probably fit the dome in it. There is one issue, is a quarter of it would be filled with part of a fallen, rotted trunk of a tree. Um, which means you'll have to be pretty tight in there when you sleep, but it's doable. Mm. So like the dome would be around the tree trunk? Yes. Okay. That's fine. Unless some of you want to sleep in the water. Hollow nope. tree trunk or solid? Yeah, uh, 
Is it a straw, a fun straw into our home? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, because the dome would go through the hut, right? It'd go through the trunk anyway. Uh, the, 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 the trunk would be inside the dome, for like as far as like getting enough ground that itself is, is open and not underwater, um, and under the actual marsh water, but uh, it is not hollow, and it is rotted. Um, you go and inspect it, and you pull it, and like the heart, like the <laughs> jagged parts of it just peel off. Can we just softly. move the trunk? It's well, rooted in the ground. You can try and move it up if you want to try and tear the, the trunk just out. Sleep around it. It'll be yeah, uncomfortable, but safe. Okay. <laughs> How long does it take for you to uh, uh, take cast it as a ritual? Eleven minutes as a ritual. Eleven minutes as a ritual. Should we try and push the trunk for eleven minutes? Yeah. yeah. For eleven uh, minutes, like we'll, try to, we'll try to move it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and make. Uh, who, who's helming this? All the girls are doing it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two, two are strength based. Yeah, yeah so both of okay. you guys make strength checks for me. Okay. Things. And I am um, there for emotional support. I'm watching, I'm watching for, for anything. Natural 20? Oh, oh shit. And I got uh, 27. Oh. Woo! Wow. Damn. That's, uh, yeah, so. 20 on perception, too, just yeah, keeping so an eye out. Fair enough. Well, as she's the splinter well, maker. Well, as, uh, as Jester and, uh, and uh, Yasha. Reach both kind of getting their fingers into the ground, and it's easy to get a grip because the soft earth kind of gives way to your fingers as you push and find a, a heavy handhold on these deeply sunken roots. You both count to three and then lift at once, and you hear as it tears up out of the ground. You can see some of the roots just splinter and break, and some just pull up right out of the soft earth as you both lift and give it a shove, and it and it kind of like floats out over the water and kind of sinks halfway before it finds enough yeah. soot and, and muck underneath to come to rest. She's a brick. <laughs> the, mist, the, mist, the mist has come in quickly in this space, which by the way, uh, uh, if you could, Kusis, roll again, because it would be the disadvantage with the heavy mist around you. Oh, that's fine. Oh, and then there's an aphid, just go for it. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's well, even higher, so 20 okay. is still the okay. 20 so is still the roll. The splash hits, you're about maybe, like that took no time. You guys took maybe two minutes to get that thing out of the way. Um, so you're still partially into this. Um, right as you guys are kind of you know, getting excited about that, you see something, like a, sh a shape in the mist. Oh. What does it look like? What's the shape look like? Looks there. like a, kind of like just like a person. Is it a ghost? A person. It looks like a person. person. It looks kind like of just person? like a person. It was like three more. Oh, it's a Are they floating? How far away? No, they're just they're just shapes in the mist that you can barely make out. You guys can't even see. You're the one who's, who's pushing or is pointing originally. Just so you can just make it out a little bit. Cast faster! Cast faster! Cast faster! <laughs> Six minutes, five minutes. I don't know. <laughs> you see a shape kind of come out of the water, not too far from where you are, on on the edge of where the the trunk of the tree had hit the edge. You see like a shape, a person kind of rise up out of it. I didn't get their attention. Move closer and start start prepping. Caduceus, tell us what these are. Quickly check. I'm checking. I'm doing the. Uh, uh, is it, are they undead? I'm doing the. Uh, yeah. um, you're doing which one? The yeah, um, uh, eyes of the grave. Eyes of the grave. What's the range on that? Uh, range on that is, is 60 feet. 60 I know the <laughs> I know the location of any undead within 60 feet that isn't behind like total cover. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, you got about 15 that suddenly show up. And it's undead. Immediately around you is undead. Uh, I'm going to turn undead. Are you going to do the same thing? Uh, you first, or do you want to? Yeah. Well, first, let's go ahead and roll initiative. Ah! This move, Last uh, week was just a sample fight. You guys it got to charge. Counted. You charge right into the depths of the swamp, and the right as the night it's, kicks it's in, and make loud noise. Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. Dwarvenforge.com. Dwarvenforge. What do we do? What do we do? Camp outside of a hut? Yeah, we can't. Must be done. Oh, here comes the mess. Not a good initiative. Not a good idea. Oh, no. Oh, go initiative. I knew I forgot something. Roll well. Roll really well. Balls. Okay, that was good. Balls and anus. Balls and anus. Balls, balls, and anus. Love that song. Parents, if you're watching the kids, we apologize. Nothing wrong with balls and anus. Those are medical terms. Those are medical terms, exactly. Yeah. So you got him. In between us, Mr. Grinch. As far as you know. By the way, our new book is going to be in store soon. Everyone has an anus. I mean, it's true. With little decals and final stickers. All right. Oh, God. Me and Yasha would be standing next to each other because we just did the trunk. Oh, yay. You guys would be back. time. All right, and so. That's, that's so cool, man. Come on. That's uh, so mm -hmm. fun. These trees! Wow. Wow. Look at the log in the fucking moss. All right, I'm gonna chill. <laughs> <laughs> not that this is not being recorded, but. 
<laughs> for your really own. Cool. I gotta make sure somebody sees this. <laughs> Matt's like, yeah, you fucked. Yeah. You should have seen my map last week. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not that long. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Yep. Oh my god, he's got a lot of minis. There's 15 of them, yeah, there's a lot of minis. Yeah, yeah. Oh, three hit points. Meet me in the garden. Oh, oh garden. garden. <laughs> okay, throw back. Maybe some glowy, glowy fisties. Glowy fisties. Say that out loud, yeah, I got it. Did you just say glowy fisty? Glowy fisties, okay. Caddy. Glowy fisties. I may not have it. Oh wait, if you do, if you have it. but. Glowy fisty night. If you do that, I may not have it. Won't be able to do. Yeah, I may not actually have glowy fisty right now. Wow, Matt is setting up a lot of miniatures. I actually don't. I don't have glowy fisty right now. Oh God. All right. Oh. oh, and lightning change? Come on. Oh. This is sick. as you all as you make that point, and you guys begin to see these shapes move and shift. You see the, the one that comes out of the water nearby, uh, right over on that side near Jester and Yasha, what? the trunk that is kind of floated out in that direction. You see it kind of rise up and go. Oh, that's a scary one. And you see they're they're humanoid, though largely their flesh is kind of bloated and like slothing off their body in places, um, swollen and green, kind of just this horrible toxic zombie type persona, and it looks like it will move really slow, and it goes. Oh, rushes, stop! Rushes with uh, a speed sleep? faster than any sort of zombie you've seen in your time. Oh. Uh, I hate so that zombie. Initiative, please. If everyone hasn't rolled yet, I rolled shit. I, did I rolled shit. <laughs> I rolled average shit. He's rolling really well. Natural twenty. Oh, that's the absolute I rolled. Alrighty, so <laughs> twenty-five to twenty. Twenty. Oh, Yasha's shit! Yasha's going with that. Ashley Johnson. I'm doing slow mo on the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, 20 to 15. 15. 16. 18. Oh, oh shit. This stuff down. So All right. Not. not you said 16. Oh, could you just got 16? Then bow. All right. Uh, 15 to 10. Uh, 12. All right. Just a kid. 10 to 5. Uh, 8. Is this all the same day? Oh, yeah. I guess it won't affect us too much, but we're all exhausted. Yes, still. you all have a point. Well, those, some of, well, most of you have a point of exhaustion. I roll a one. Ah, right, oh. Ford's up there. Okay. I basically don't even notice anything. <laughs> so. Are you guys get all excited? Yasha, for <laughs> what's your dexterity? My dexterity is fifteen. I'll let you go first then. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. Kill so, uh, who's nearest? Uh, you have these two that are almost equidistant. This one's probably closest to you there. Okay. I'm going to go over there. Uh, I would like to rage. Yes, you would! Alrighty. Drawing which blade? Switch. Your witch blade. My skin gorger. You got it. You charge through sploosh, sploosh. <laughs> now, in this space, your movement is halved because you are in pretty heavy swamp around the space of where you guys are currently located. Okay. But you get there without an issue. So you rush into the first one who's like there in front of you. Now, as opposed to just a, an undead and a, a zombie that's falling apart, and you've encountered a number of those in spaces, this reminds you of some of the zombies that you've seen in elements of Jorhas uh, that are some usually curse based husk zombies. Or they're created by Nurgalids, similar in ways to the ones that showed up at the carnival when you first oh. met up with these people. Um, they are faster, their fingers are bladed, and they're all around a little more volatile than your standard lumbering undead. But nevertheless, in that moment of recognition, your blade is out. What are you doing? Okay, I'm going to attack. All right. Go for the head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would be a 28 to hit. That'll hit. Okay. It's so rusted. <laughs> That's what you have to be careful of, not the blades. I'm going to roll those again because of. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to take that hit. 23 for the first hit. 23 points of damage? Yep. Nice. You hack through, carving through, and you see its body kind of open up a bit. As it does, uh, as opposed to like the black coagulated blood, 
almost like moss kind of pours out with the wound as it opens up. The arm itself splinters a bit, but holds in place, and it kind of like. Oh, that's gross. Okay, second hit. Uh, oh, same. Twenty-eight. That'll do. Roll damage a second time. Okay. Eight plus three, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Second hit. Twelve points of damage. Twelve points of damage. Nice. Second strike <laughs> carves through and jams partway in his torso. <laughs> gets stuck, and the creature kind of like <gasps> bows for a second, like it's about to collapse, and then kind of <sighs> back up at you with the blade still what? kind of stuck what? in its torso. Like As you pull it back, it what? lurches forward towards you. Now they're all gonna go. Oh, hey, uh, Matt. Okay. Before you go forward, can we add my resonant echo to the map? Oh, good call, because you do still have him. Right. How eight long does he last? Eight hours. Would you like him to go? Uh, I would. I would have had him be like a lookout, so I don't think he would be right with right. us. Ooh. Oh, there. there he is! It's the nigga Caleb. Yep. Yeah. Um, could I put him like nigga standing Scott. under this tree? Sure. Because he doesn't have to worry about swampies. Right. You got him. Okay. Cool. Uh, so now it's their turn. Uh, Oh god, they're they, so fast! They are very oh, fast. Shit. Even with their reduced movement, they are much quicker than any zombie you've encountered. Previ- Although you know you've encountered just once a long, a long time ago. It's like when they remove frames in a horror film and they just. Oh god. You know? Yeah. 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 You can go further yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, I Talk hate that shit. <laughs> That's like. I have nightmares like that. Yeah. For yeah. clarification. Yes. I rolled Savage Attack on both of those. Savage okay. attacker, but the second that second one that I rolled, I rolled the same gotcha. both times. Okay. So I just realized I was like, wait, I think I can turn. only use once that once per turn. That's all good. Sorry, but thank you for being up. Just so later people are like, you did it wrong. I know I did. <laughs> I'm letting you know. I yeah, I'm letting you know I know. So I realized. It's a side roll. It's a Fred Savage Appreciate attack. You it's not me. the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Savage attack. Yeah. 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 So the one that the one that you've jammed and the blade in it's nearly dead. It goes, looks at you, and you watch as its chest kind of pulses and inflates. It bursts into a spray of toxic visceral liquor. Spray. Make it go ahead and make Constitution saving. Oh my God. Oh, oh, constitution? Yeah, con- constitution save, yeah, please. Oh. Seven. I mean, Ugh. ten. Ten, that is still a failure. Like you okay. Okay, take okay. 18 points of poison damage. Oh! One hit. Yes. Ooh. As it explodes, it is destroyed, but you are coated in this horrible poisonous liquid that kind of like scars the flesh a bit, and it's all in your eyes and your mouth, and it burns, and it's awful. Doesn't oh. to hurt the gentleman next to him, does it? He doesn't seem affected by it. He's going to attack you twice. Oh, oh. oh my god. <coughs> uh, oh, shit. No, don't Two look at us. Literally, in a row. That Two hits. Two 18s. Uh, that, yeah, so that'll be a 23 each. All right, okay. you take. The whole thing. Oh. Turn on dead might be bad. 17 points of bludgeoning damage, which you are Depends raging, so it is halved to eight. I believe eight points of bludgeoning damage to you. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's two attacks on you, just. Oh, that, that, that's, that's four attacks on you from two of them. Little yep. Because there are two of them that are currently rushed in towards you. Okay. All right. One misses. That's cocked. And they rolled really bad. Um, the highest one is a fifteen. Oh. Armor class. Yeah, Nineteen. they just rush in and strike with their fingers are clawing, and you're holding up your shield, and you kind of like one gets close to you, and you bash it away, and it backs up again. <laughs> About to like double back and go in for the assault a second time. Caduceus, you have one that rushed up to you and is going to attack you twice. Oh, twice in a row. Thirteen out of thirteen. So. Uh, no, and I'm going to use shield of retribution. Okay, go for it. Uh, so misses with a melee attack. I usually like to black them with arcane force. They suffer four d6 force damage. Ooh. And they also have to move um, 20 feet. feet away from me. Ooh, tight. So, Shield of Retribution. Whoa. Uh, 12, Those 14, dice are beautiful. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Whoa, that's 19 good points. Roll. 19 so, points of force damage and 20 feet back. So it runs towards you, leaps in the air, and as it goes to strike with both claws, you hold the shield up, take the blow, and then 
shove it off as a blast of energy. Fires it, throwing it back 20 feet. It lands and then jumps up with an unexpected speed and is getting ready to come back next round. These two are going to go after your echo, Caleb. Uh huh. Uh, it's four uh-huh. strikes against it. The first two. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's a tank. He'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> Thirteen and a fourteen. Uh, no. Wow. No. <laughs> no. They don't hit. Hey. They, doesn't have mage it. armor on it. Uh, I don't have mage armor on. Okay. I have elven chain and. That's true. Uh, yeah. That so there you go. Ages. So both those miss. Wow. And the other. First oh. time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> the other, and two more strikes against your. Just show. a mime going. <laughs> That's uh, 21 and 21. Oh, yeah, those hit. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's gone. For a while left. He's like, he are those against your shadow? He's or? a confetti filled balloon, guys. He's <laughs> he took a mole. 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, oh, uh, I, no, he's still up. That's from both of them? Yeah, one of them missed two attacks and the other one hit twice but didn't roll super high in the damage. Oh. Are you are you like low on health already? No, 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 no it's his shadow. It's his it's it's uh, uh, shadow. Yeah, it's it's it's. I've never used this spell. Sorry. It's all good. That's gonna be okay. Four you attacks. Still up. Yeah. Shit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, that's four strikes against you, Ford. <laughs> yep. Oh shit. Uh. Ooh. That's a good sound. That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Uh, a, a seven, an eleven, a seventeen, and a nineteen. Seventeen and nineteen hits. The last two. Okay. So with that, that is fourteen points of bludgeoning damage to you. Okay. As both of them go just raking towards you, bashing into you, trying desperately to get through, um, and then uh, the other strikes come through and they slash into your like torso and the side of your head and you kind of like oh go forward you can feel kind of the warmth as the blood is kind of pouring through the scalp already from where it slashed to the back of your head um that is going to finish that one there there is now one against you caleb with two strikes the 14 points of damage were the last two strikes combined okay yes okay gotcha i didn't make sure we're not extra so there's two strikes against you caleb from the one that managed to squeeze through to get to you Mm -hmm. a little little oh that is a 23 and a natural 20. Those oh. both seem to hit for some reason. Oh. Cancel the natural oh. 20. Oh. oh, yes. Did you use your reaction to yeah, your shield? Yeah, I think you oh, did. Oh, I don't know it. if that, I don't know if the shield counts as a reaction. Hold on. It's the end of the ability. Uh, yeah, it will say it. Um, yeah, that's my reaction. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Bring it on. All right. And that is a <clears throat> seven points of slashing damage to you, Caleb. Yeah, okay. No, I didn't. And then the crit. Didn't. And 13 points of slashing damage on that one. <laughs> not bad. Not too bad. Two attacks against you, Beauregard. Yeah. This is the last of their run. Uh, That's going to be a 13 yes. and a 20. 20 hits. 20 hits. You take seven points of slashing damage. Okay, that's fine. That is the rest of their turn. Mm-hmm. Next up comes Not. Not, what are you doing? There's a lot of attacks. Yeah. That was, uh, you go from just a couple of shadows in the mist to suddenly being swarmed by this horrible <laughs> sound of sucking terrible undead voices, and you're just swarmed. You hear an explosion and a scream off to the side. Your friends are being assailed by them. What are you doing? I feel like I just, there's one over oh, here that there is one move. over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. That's 20. not an undead, that's just a observer. <laughs> How y'all doing over here? Oh, uh, the gentlemen, what are you doing here? And actually, these guys couldn't attack, but they can still at least get up in the mix, yeah. which they would anyway with their dash action, so there we go. Jeepers. Oh, no, actually, right this one would me. probably get behind them. Actually, there, so we'll go with that. Jinkies. Okay. So, what are you doing not? Ooh, she's right next to me, huh? I'm sorry, I fucked that up. No, for that's you. fine, it's fine. Um, I feel like uh, Yasha's okay. I, I feel like Jester's going to do some magic shit. Ford, I don't really care about Bo. Oh. Bo's fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I gotta protect Caleb. I will shoot the one engaged with Caleb. Right here? Yes. Go for it. Okay. Roll for an attack. Four. <laughs> Plus 10. So, 14. That hits. Hey! They are very easy to hit. They don't try and dodge, They're, uh, they don't have any armor. Whoa, that was a good roll. Yes, it was. 20. 32 plus 6, 38, 38 points of damage. 38 points of damage. <laughs> it is done. Oof. Does it explode? Or is it okay? As you strike it, in the back of its head, it kind of 
falls forward onto its knees, and then its body. Oh, no. oh. Oh. I need Beauregard, Caleb, and Ford to all make Constitution saving throws, please. Nice. Hi guys. No, that's gonna happen. Is, uh, we're just gonna take some distance. Okay. Uh, 24. Oh. 24 success. You take 12 points of poison damage. Ooh. 20. 12 points of poison damage. Caleb? So I wouldn't have an app. Seven, eight, 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 Huh? My immunity to poison change anything? Or immune to the condition? Or mu- is it? This is your monk shit. I think. I think. My I'm, monk shit. I'll double check here, but I'm pretty sure you might do. This might do nothing to you. I'm just gonna double check real fast here with your. Monks have a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, monks so are pretty great. Shit. They're awesome. You're immune to disease and poison. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. It hits you and you just kind of. Listen. Nothing. Your friends Ooh. are dying. Look awesome. at my guns. Look good now. <laughs> <laughs> huh. You are a Interesting. Gandhi. Uh, <laughs> Fuck you. And then I will, uh, that one's within melee of me, Fucking so I will random. disengage. Alrighty. And, oh boy, there's nowhere to run, we're surrounded, but I'll, I'll, I'll just run away. Okay. Your movement is 35? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll run back that way, yeah. 20, 25. 30, that's about as far as you can that get. That seems good. Like, All right. Uh, actually, no, you're, you're on the kind of point there, so you can actually get a little further if you want to, like over this way. Uh, just because you were, yeah, on the, good. you were on the section that didn't have any swamp, and then you moved into the swamp. guy over there, I didn't see him. Well, you do now. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. All right, Caduceus, you're up, Bo, you're on deck. Um, I'm going to cast Bless at fourth level. Ooh. On everyone but Bo. Damn, boy. All right. <laughs> yeah. Everyone gets an extra it's D4 so to attacks and saves. D4. Confidence. <laughs> that confidence much confidence in, in me. <laughs> so yeah, if you have to roll a save or if you roll an attack, you can add a D4 to it. Come on. Um, Hashtag blast. Um, spell. On me as well? Or yep. Oh, okay, cool. Everyone's got Wait, a D4. On, on me as well? You as well. On me. On me. Even, even, uh, even, uh, uh, yeah, everybody. All righty, that's um, your action. That's my action. I'm like, this is where I am right now. Oh boy, am I not engaged with any of them? Uh, you were, and then you blasted him back with your shield. So you are not currently engaged with any of them in combat. Okay, I'm going to break off from the group a bit. Okay. Because I've just figured out that this, the grouping <laughs> is a disaster. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to try and get to the other side of this trunk over here, if that's okay. Right. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. It's as far uh, as you on can the other side of it, if possible. How long does it I know, last? I, I, Until I, I lose concentration. I'd say okay. because you were in there, I'll give you another block, but that's as far as you can get. Okay. Because I, I was, the, was there, oh, the there's other no way there. to get through there, yeah. That's also rough terrain, because it's a bunch of bunching, so I can beat you about I'm there. I'm there. Not, and you are like um, partially uh, enveloped uh, by a bush. Uh, <laughs> there you go. You're good. You're good. Okay, there, there we go. Uh, or there too. That yeah, works fine. Sure. Wherever you want to go, Caduceus. That's right. I'm trying to like be out back up against that. All right. Uh, there we go. That's real, real stuff. There you go. Oh boy. Yeah. That's. Uh, I don't think I have a bonus action. So yeah. That's. Uh... Beauregard, you're up. Caleb, right. you're on deck. I'm yeah. zombie, Je- zombie Jesus here. Zombie, zombie Jesus. <laughs> sure. And that guy. Yes. Uh, I'm going to uh, elbow the guy behind me and then. Give her like a nice roundhouse to the guy up front. I don't Go know. for it. So one attack to each. Oh, you got it. Wow! Wow, that's real bad. That rolls. Real bad. But Thirteen and a fifteen. Both hit. Do that much. Oh. Wow! Anyone can hit these guys. Yeah. How? What did you roll? Awesome! I rolled a three and a five, and I still hit both. Wow! Of them. Just, what was the uh, total? Pop, pop. Thirteen, 13 and fifteen. Oh, okay. Okay. It might be eleven. Um. So that's gonna be eight to the guy in the back. Already. Ten to the guy in the front. Already. Yeah. Still standing. Yeah, what was the second damage? It was uh, ten. ten. Eight and ten. Yeah, both still standing. No issue. They both take hits. And they're like, <laughs> doesn't seem to be that much of an impact on them. Oh, no, I know. I've got a bunch of. Pardon me. As long as I don't have a bunch. I'm out. Oh, 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 a triple sneezer? Yeah, they're usually triple. So it might. Oh. Uh, Got a triple sneeze. What doesn't seem to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bucky! Um, <laughs> Why'd you brag about it? <laughs> Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows, all right. Same thing, one to each. Pop, pop, you got it. Both hit with a 15 and a 17. Yep. Oh, those are better. 
Um, 18 to the guy in the back. Nice. And, <clears throat> nope, sorry, sorry, let me rethink that. Uh, 14 to the guy in the back? 14 to the guy in the back. That's eight plus six, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then. To Zombie Jesus? To Zombie Jesus. And then uh, 12 to the guy in the front. Alrighty. Crack, crack. You hit them both again. They both kind of uh, bow back, and they're looking hurt, but they're still standing angrily, <laughs> growling on each Taste. side of you. You do, however, get your extract aspects on them. They are, surprisingly, immune to poison and being poisoned. Mm. Sense. That's not surprising. I know. They're I'm, 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 immune I'm to the shit that they that. throw on us. They're immune to poison. I say to everybody. Mm -hmm. Tell me what to do. Yeah. All right, that's my turn. You got it, Bo. Caleb, you're up. Jester, you're on deck. Uh, so the Nega uh, Widow guest pulls his hands apart, and a giant fireball opens up in his hands, and he chucks it uh, over to here. All right. <laughs> over in this direction, so that we can hopefully catch himself and these two buddies and this one here. Yeah, you can get all three of those. And himself. And, and himself. He will disappear. It's a fireball. Yeah. Fire Let's go ahead and roll damage on that. Yeah, where's that thing? Where did it go? There it is. For him, that's a <laughs> fail. I am going to Herzog and fail. you are listening. Okay, I'm going to roll. That, I got to re-roll it. Because it was, these dice, I can't do it. Three. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, here we go. Eleven. Thirteen, eleven. Twenty-one, twenty-seven. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Plus the, plus the, plus the, plus the. Plus the. Uh, 30, 34. Thirty-four points of damage? Yeah. I rolled. That's actually really good. The two has a so, yeah. Caleb, the uh, the Echo Caleb releases it and just, <laughs> just scatters into shadow and is gone as the flaming blast lights up the space around you in the middle of this dark, kind of barely moonlit center of the swamp. As the zombies themselves take the flame and kind of scramble for a minute, kind of caught off guard by the blast, uh, they all get back to their place. Uh, this one here looks hurt. The other two are almost destroyed. Their whole, like, whatever flesh that was soggy and green is now black and crispy. They've lost most of their facial features, and they're just like, <sighs> but they're still standing. And also, Caleb turns into a giant ape. Oh, okay, that works oh, too. Okay. <laughs> Turn into oh. a giant ape? Yeah. Woo! We're monkeying around. <sighs> All right. So with that, you are now a blessed monkey. <laughs> Hashtag blessed. Yes. Blessed. And you get blessed. kind of. Shunted out to this space, since you cannot occupy the space, the rest of your group is there, and you are a giant monkey. That's your action. Alrighty. Is that your turn? You're gonna stay there. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Jester, you're up. Ford, you're on deck. Okay. Um, I am going to. This is it. I know. I'm going to reach into my bag and pull out the Cup. diamond that Caleb gave me that I um, used to incite greed, and I'm going to hold it high in the air, and I'm going to cast incite greed. Okay. It's like greed. Any creature that I choose within 30 feet of me, which should be all of them except for that skeleton and this guy over here, uh, has to make a wisdom saving throw. Correct. So those two on the outside are exempt. That guy there. Failure. Two next to Ford. They call it guys. 16. Fail. Fail. 17. Fail. Uh, 17 he needs. Oh. 17. All right, so this guy does succeed. Okay. So just note that he is, he is fine on that. The one next to Bo, fail. The two next to Yasha, fail. Fa no, he succeeds. He rolled a, he rolled a 19. Okay. okay. They, have, they have a penalty for their wisdom, but they're still rolling pretty high. So this guy, this guy, and those two are unaffected. The two that are next to you, Jester, fail. And fail. What? What happens? Uh, they have to use their entire turn to do nothing but move towards me. Mm -hmm. If they are within five feet of me, it can't do anything but stare greedily at the gem that I'm holding up. Whoa. They all want this gem very badly. That's concentration. Oh. Uh, it is. All right. Um, and th at the end of their turn, they get to make a wisdom saving throw. You got it. Okay, good to know, Jester. Wow. Thank you. Oh, Ford, shit. you're up. That's, uh, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> If you guys hurt them, it ends the charm effect. It's like a charm. So okay. only attack the ones that aren't charmed right now. Got it. 
Wow, I know the pipe. Can I use my uh, bonus action to put uh, yeah. my Hexblade's oh. curse on oh. this individual over here that has the uh, very large this one. That's yes, you got it. You. Uh, and I will uh, take two swings with uh, the Star Razor at that unaffected right gentleman. There. Yes. Go for it. Is that one? Two strikes at that one. Yes. Alrighty. Uh, and I'll use that uh, the word to make it glow. So it <laughs> the runes light up. The blade gives off this bright, radiant kind of light that just emanates from the edge, and you swing. Whoosh, Twenty-seven. That hits. hits. Woo. Second one is. Woo. Come on, forty. Wow. We'll see, we'll see what Twenty-eight we'll see. to hit. Yeah. Both hit. Go ahead and roll damage on that one. Very, very, very good. I didn't even roll the fucking plus. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> ten. Wait a minute. Uh, Eleven points of damage and nineteen. So uh, twenty-nine points of uh, flashing damage. Twenty-nine to the one that was unwounded right there. Yes. All right. So Unaffected. <laughs> both strikes carve through where like the blade carves into its flesh. It opens up, and you can see the radiant energy like sears through. There's no uh, like roughness to it. It's just almost burned straight through, like it was just you know an incised laser had carved. Um, it's still standing, though really, really badly hurt and barely holding on. Um, that's your action and your bonus. Uh, my bonus was the hex blade. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you're gonna move or stay put? Yeah, All right. Stay put. Top of the round, Yasha, you're up next. Okay. You are currently surrounded, though both uh, one of them is behind you went from like yeah, to and just staring over towards Jester, while the one that's immediately in front of you is still thrashing towards okay. you. Okay, since he's distracted, I'm gonna to go for the one in front of me. Oh, zombies! I have a very pretty gem. 17. 17 hits. Okay. Butterflies. <laughs> First hit, I'll take that. Blueberries. Uh, <laughs> 11, Squirrel. 21. 21 points of damage? 21 points of damage. Ooh, nice. Oh, look a deer. Second, Second strike. It's going to explode on me. Zombie. Uh, zombie deer. <laughs> deer is like. 12. 12 still hits. It does? Yep. 12 yeah. still hits. All right. They don't have a great armor class. These guys suck. Okay. Shut um, up. I'm going to try rolling this again. I'm going to the last one. <laughs> That's the same. Okay, so five. Uh, 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage, all right. You attack twice and then carve upward, and you watch, you actually carve through the face, and then the head splits a bit, but one of the eyes kind of looks oh. back to you, and it's kind of shambling towards you, almost like Gross. the second teacher reference, like the T-1000 kind of split open, coming in your direction. Yes. Yes. Um, Just like him. You still have your bonus in your movement if you want to do anything, or I guess they put. Um, okay. Um. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? What you gonna do? Is what you gonna do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm about to say, what you gonna you do when I'm gonna, you get I'm out gonna, of jail? <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun. I'm going to use zealous presence. Oh yeah. Um, so and it's a bonus action. This is for everybody. I'll unleash a battle cry and up to ten other creatures. All Whoa. of you guys. Um, you gain advantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Whoa. Until the start of your next turn. Right. Until the yes. start of your next turn. Until the start of my next turn. turn. Oh, so, so you awesome. strike twice, the guy doesn't go down and begins lumbering towards you angrily. You just go and just give out this piercing fallen angel scream that echoes through the middle of this swamp. You guys hear this as the echo kind of shock, you hear. <laughs> Oh, a stormless sky, yet you hear thunder rolling and a flash in the distance as the storm lords oh, 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 you. And oh, 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 be, um, it's within sixty feet. That's all. That's, that's everybody. everybody. Okay, great. Finish your go. Wow. That's that'll be that'll be that'll be my go. All right, that's it's good. their turn. That's, that's real good. Dope. This guy's just gonna run right that's over at Jester, and this guy's gonna stay put. I forgot um, about that. This guy's gonna. I think yeah, this guy moves in. And tries to push it past. Oh my god, this uh, is terrifying. <laughs> it's as far as he can like get the there. He just just that, guy. that one's that, that one's not affected. No, he's not affected, but the next, yeah, that, that guy, guy is. Affected. Do we get an attacks of opportunity? Uh, that that guy does. was affected. But if we we can hold it if we want to. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you hit one, correct. It doesn't it break on all, does it? No, no. It just yes. breaks in the one. So you're not giving attack opportunity. I'm gonna listen to. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he can get right there. What about that little guy over by the tree? Right here? Yeah. 
four. That's as far as he gets there. Uh, all right, so they just all kind of move forward. Those all of a sudden, are unaffected? yeah, or those two are unaffected, and that, so the three of them are unaffected currently. Uh, so Jesse, you watch them all swarm, and you hear this kind of this this whole chorus of. You look around you, and they're all just glaring in your direction. Some with both eyes, some with the one eye they have, some with no eyes, but the very force that holds them together through necrotic, arcane, terrible magic that that rocks into this swamp is still looking right in your direction, and it's not fun. Um, the one that's still upon you, that's that's kind of pulled apart, is going to go ahead and strike you twice, Yasha. Okay. Uh, natural one and an eighteen. That hits. All right, so you do take. Five points of slashing damage, reduced to two because you're raging. Tight. Uh, Ford, two attacks against you. Right. And this one's going to go ahead and move in a bit mm. to about there, kind of fill the gap between the three of you. And, uh, yep, it's going to go ahead and take two strikes against you. All right. Let's go there. Okay, there we go. Uh, an eight and uh, 21. 21 hits. Oh, that was a cock in that one. Ooh, eight points of slashing damage on that one. And he will take seven points of radiant damage nice. as the sword bursts with radiant energy each time I'm Woof. struck. As it hits him, it, he rushes past. The impact of that radiant energy burns up the back, and you see the neck itself kind of snap from the, the tendons that are no longer holding it up. Its head kind of <laughs> dangles there, and the mouth kind of goes. <sighs> It's oh hanging on by a thread. That's so cool. <laughs> and then this one here is going to rush over to you, Not, around the corner, and make two strikes against you. No! Oh shit. Uh, 20 and a natural 20. Oh! Whoa. Both hit. Dang, that, I, can, I can counter the natural 20 on that one, though. So I still, now I have reaction. New turn. turn. You yeah, do. Now you do, yes. Yeah, so no natural, no, no crit okay. on you. Give me a snap. Well, actually, technically, you got, technically, you would have gotten your reaction back because you got your turn. It was in the same turn, the last time. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So, uh, cool. yeah, yeah, I was making sure. Anyway, <laughs> it's fine. You can do it. Um, <laughs> so it's just two damage. We're straight. Let me, let me mark that. That is 11 points of slashing damage to you, not. For, for both or the first? For both. Oh. Okay. Not as much because the the crit got canceled by okay. Caduceus there. That nope. finishes their turn. That brings us to not you're up, Caduceus. You're on deck. Oh boy, I'm stuck in front of this fellow. I don't like it. Um, well, I can't do what I wanted to do, so I will say, Ford, cover your eyes!" And I will fire through the one in front of me at at the one engaged with Ford. Okay. Yeah. No. You. <laughs> What'd you roll? 15. 15, that'll hit, go and roll damage. As it sh shoots through, not only are you pushing past forward, but you're, you're also waiting for a moment where the giant gorilla that's yeah. like slamming towards it brings the fists up and you <laughs> sh streak past. It still manages to hit the creature. Like a million points. Oh my god. <laughs> it had one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> you hit it. What a waste of all those And it collapses balls. and falls into the swamp, unmoving. Then his body swells. Oh. <laughs> it explodes and poison all around you. Uh, I need Beauregard, I need Gorilla Man, and oh. I need Ford to go ahead and make. Not, uh, not Bo. Oh, not Bo, yeah, because you're fine. With advantage, entity four. Yep. Oh, with advantage? With yeah, advantage, the, entity four. Better. Way better. 25. 25, nice. So you take eight points of poison damage. Okay. 20. Uh, you take eight points of poison damage. There you go. Um, climbing is an action, or is it a movement? You can you can climb a certain amount with half. The, your movement is very minimized, uh -huh. but you can attempt it. Hmm. Hmm. Ah hmm. Ah hmm. I will disengage with the one in front of me. Okay. And I will run and uh, slide under, like between cape lip. Cape lips, uh, <laughs> le legs, like between his legs, just to cape lip. Cape lip. Uh, rush through and come to the other side, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's doable. 
So you kind of run and you slide, and because it's all slick marshland, it kind of slip and slides you through the gorilla's Ooh, legs and like out the other side. <laughs> kind of catch yourself and look no, up. I went over a rock. Yep, you almost got kind of foreheaded by the monkey wang. Um, <laughs> Alrighty, that did they all make saving throws monkey. at the end of their turn to see if they broke the? Uh, we should do that now. Yeah. All right, so uh, those him yeah, that now. No. Uh, fail him. Fail him. Fail him. Fail him. <laughs> That's cocked. Succeed. Whoa! He is free. I'll go ahead and mark that just so I have it. That one. Patriarch Fail. Society that one. Zombies. Fail. Wow. <laughs> what? They really like the diamond. They really like that diamond. <laughs> they have a shitty wisdom saving throw. <laughs> What's up with this one? Yeah, I don't think Matt can see that one. You see this one behind a tree? Oh shit! Yeah, I'm blocking my own self. You would have gone up. I'm blocking turn. myself. As well. So just to mark that off there, Caduceus, you do have two attacks on you from the one that you blasted back last round that did catch up. Thank you for the reminder. I was blocking with my own terrain. Too much terrain. Uh, that is a talk number. 23 and a 20. Those hit. All right. You take 12 points of slashing damage. <laughs> as the one that you blasted back now kind of scoots towards you, really low to the ground, and as it comes up, it just rakes you twice oh, upward with these kind of sick. rizing claw oh, strikes. Off, <laughs> really off, off. How am I? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in contact with. Oh my god! I've got a lot of them around me, don't I? Yeah, a lot of them just rushed past you and are staring at Jester, but one of them did okay, manage to come. One, into one of them, whether I'm engaged with one. Then. Correct. Okay. Um, all right. So that brings us to Knott's turn. Caduceus, you're up. Bo, you're on deck. Um, I'm trying to take a look at the at what's going on. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is is I'm going to take my movement. I'm actually, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to take my movement. I'm going to come uh, as far out this way as I can. Like, yeah, like that's this as far way. as you can get to there. Next, next cool. to the floating stump, you're kind of up to waist high in water. Cool, cool. cool. That one that just attacked you does get an attack opportunity does against get an attack you. Opportunity. Uh, and rolls a natural one. So it goes to strike towards you and just kind of slips uh, and then falls into the water and spends the rest of kind of the next round of actions just trying to get out of the muck. What are you doing? Uh, are we have we made, are we are we doing a thing? We can do with the thing. Mm-hmm. I'm What's the thing? Going to hold turn undead and I'm going to wait for Jester's signal. Okay. You got it. <laughs> so you're holding turn undead as an action. That finishes your go. Uh, that brings us to Beauregard. Do I see any of this signaling happening? Right now, you're. Do I have any clue, huh? Uh, they haven't made a signal towards you, no. so probably not. All right. You were standing next to me. The um, zombie Jesus and the guy who is next to me, I'm just yep. going to keep wailing on them. Go for it. And I have an advantage on attack rolls? Uh, yeah. You do, yep. Okay, first one 21. With it, yeah. That hits. Second one. Oh, 13. So that's it. I rolled a natural one and a three. Wow. Natural one misses automatically. No, but that was no with on it with advantage. With advantage. Oh, with advantage. advantage. Right. Yeah. 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 So both hits. Um, yeah, one to each. Go for First it. First one. Wait, did you say something about advantage on attack rolls? Yeah. Yep. Sense. Yep. How yep. does? So wait, you get to re-roll it if you don't. No attack rolls, not damage. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Not damage. Not damage. Correct. That's right. Attack rolls okay. and saving throws. Correct. In saving throws. Yeah. You don't really need. Right okay. Now. Eleven. To Zombie Jesus. Zombie Jesus and falls. Zombie Jesus. Uh, nice. And the other one? How many right. killed? Sorry, right, he'll run. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the other one is nine. Don't let Nine's Zombie damage. Jesus fall because he'll knock the, we the other ones. We got three days. We got three. The other ones aren't affected by the poison, no. so it's fine. They don't take damage. They don't take damage. Okay, good. Keep themselves. <laughs> so both of those you punch, and as you hit them, like pinatas filled with toxic juice, they both <laughs> just explode, scattering. Venomous liquid across the field around and all of you. Just for a second, it goes slow motion, and Bo just like <laughs> in flash dance, in like in the bathe in the glue, in the goop. screaming in pain. That yes. is, yes. that's amazing. Very metal, very metal. Um, to that, I need wow. uh, Jester and uh, Jester and you, Monkey Man, yeah. to go ahead and make a. Uh, constitution saving throw with advantage. So Yasha's epic I also, I also had to make a constitution saving throw because I was attacked and I have a spell up, but I just, oh, oh, yeah. just rolled 20. Everything's fine. What did you do? Throw this diamond? And 19. Chase it away? 19? Okay. You, oh, shit. Okay, that is 20 points. Oh, wait, I would add a d4 to that? No, that's just for saving throws. <laughs> yeah, so I yeah. would have rolled mm -hmm. a, added a d4. 
Oh, so uh, what did I say? 1920. Yeah. So 10 points of damage. Go ahead and make a constitution check. To see, or is a constitution saving there to see if you can maintain your spell? Constitution saving there also has advantage in yep. D4. Yes, it does. Yep. Okay. Ooh. 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 17 plus 320. 20. Okay, so you maintain concentration in your spells. Nice. Uh, the other blast, I'm going to need not, uh, just not to go ahead and make a constitution saving. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. 21. 21, so it's another 10 points of poison damage to your monkey. Okay. okay. And you also have advantage with a D4. Oh, yeah, you get advantage. Two. And a D4 added. Oh, that's <laughs> slightly <Still bad>. better. <laughs> Constitute. Yep. You got your D4 plus a D4. Too. Not real good. Right. right now I'm at a nine, and now I'm at an eleven. That's still a fail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you take sixteen points of poison damage. Ooh. I'm gonna use uncanny something. No, it's an area effect. Yes, Constitution save is not a dexterity saving throw. Evasion. Actually, no, it's not. It's, it's for half damage, right? I'm gonna evasion. Let me check. Let me check. We'll check how. Dancing between the raindrops. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Double check the wording on the rogue ability. Yeah. You can Fuck duck you underwater for a second. Sure. Oh no, I can't. Little. I don't. I don't like that. Well, you could. You also have a ring dexterity saving impossible. throw. This constitution, so it is unaffected by evasion, unfortunately. Yeah. So, Sixteen points. Sixteen points of poison damage to you. Oh. Alrighty. Does your ring make it so that you can run full speed on a? I have been running full speed. Okay. But I don't know if that's because of the ring or just because I'm awesome. Oh, that's fair. Well, because the ring, you don't have to worry about the, yeah, the okay. train. Yeah, I'm going to go um, <laughs> I'm drinking chai. That is now from uh, this is now Bo's turn to Caleb. Caleb, you're up, Jester, you're on deck. So this is a whole crowd of them still staring at Jester, and this one in red is the one that is active? This one in red and this one, and yeah. the one that's still attacking Yasha over there. Those are the three that are currently unaffected. All right, well, while the monkey is looking, he can see this one who is red and turns over and sees it uh, snarling at uh, Jester. He is okay. a monkey. He goes forward and pounds it into the ground. Uh, we'll have to move over here to make space for it. Maybe, maybe throw him away from me? So go for it. Make the attacks. Uh, Let me see. What's his intelligence? Hold on a second. His intelligence is seven. That is exactly what he does. Yep. Um, okay, so that's 3d10. Who's fucked? Okay, just checking. Just checking who's fucked. Uh, the first is uh, 24. <laughs> 24 to hit. All right, that hits. And then 24. Both hit? Yeah. That's the, that's the, the attacks of the damage. That's the damage. Both hits? Uh, I should probably roll to hit. And it's an advantage for him, yeah? Correct. With a d4. With a d4, so, so the 10, first one is? 10, uh, 10, 10, 10 is 19 plus that hits. a 4, Wait, okay. That's a 20. That's a 20, yeah, one's a, uh, oh no, that's a, an advantage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's a 20. 20. Wrong one. Yep. <laughs> no, you're good. It's fine, roll the second attack to see if it hits. Okay. Uh, that is only a, 11 plus two is 13. Both hit, yep. all damage is there, even at okay. even at, without the critical hit, that was enough to kill it. Okay. Yeah. That one explodes once more, oh, this time, no. as it does, it kind of sprays an upward geyser of kind of greenish, oh. brackish liquid, and it kind of rains down in the immediate vicinity around where it was. <laughs> um, I need Jester it's on, it's on uh, and yourself to go ahead, and, and Yasha to make yep. constitution saving throws. Okay. Okay. Oh shit. Is this a D4 to this as well? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. 12. Uh, 12, you just barely make it. That is, uh, you take 10 points of poison damage. Okay. 10. 20 points of poison damage to you, Jester, Ooh. and I need you to go ahead and make a constitution yep. saving throw with yep. advantage. And a D4. Mm hmm. 18. 18. You take 10 points of poison damage. Yep. Ooh. Oh, that's yeah, nice. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. Uh, I rolled 19 plus 3, so. 22. Yeah, so you still manage to maintain oh, your concentration. Yes. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. All righty. Does that finish your turn, Caleb? Uh, yeah. All right. Um, also, I think, because you take the damage, you took 10 points of damage. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, you still have to make concentration checks for the, oh, for the polymorph four. Okay. Just make a couple for me real fast. Sure. With, the, uh, with advantage. It's already, already an four. advantage because I'm. Correct. We'll cast uh, uh, 16. You're fine. Yeah. yeah. Go one more time. <laughs> yeah, this is Shikasta's Ooh, brother. Uh, 13 plus, plus uh, uh, 20. You're fine. Yeah. Just making sure of, like we were keeping track of as we go. 20. All right, cool. Finishes Caleb's go. Jester, you're up. Ford, you're on deck. Okay, I'm going to um, 
I'm going to Dimension Door. <gasps> oh. Okay. This is new. I'm going to Dimension Door uh, right wow. here next to Caduceus. Okay. <laughs> right next to him. And I'm going to say, this is a signal. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You release Turn Undead. Turn Undead. All righty. Which, uh, yeah. Just checking Depending which. on what this level they're at. So I'm saying, depending <laughs> on the level here. Um, All right. Uh, second or lower, lower, I believe. Yep, second or lower. Okay. Here we go. Come on, dude. That's Come on, everybody in that radius. Come on, yep. Yeah. 30 feet. Oh. <laughs> 17. <laughs> that one. Oh, uh, your DC in this is, se- is 17? Is, I believe it's 17. Wow, he succeeds. Wow. Um, I think it's my, spell, it's my smell, Correct. spell DC, right? Yeah, yeah 17. Pop! Ooh! Yes! Turns pop, to, pop. like the splashes, pop. the poison splashes and it turns to dust. That one over there, same. Pop! pop. You watch them just kind of, as, as, as Caduceus focuses and releases this energy outward, as opposed to like a shockwave blast, the energy kind of just all of a sudden drifts up off the ground, like this kind of firelight uh, sparkles yep. lift, and then burst like a thousand tiny fireworks across the way. And as they come around the undead, it goes around you guys, and it's just like this warm kind of wave that passes by. As it explodes near them, you watch it explode. Their body scatters outward and then turns to ash, but the poison still splatters. Yeah. Ah. That one there. That's okay. They're all clumped together. They're away from. Bail. Yes. That one. <laughs> Yes. Turn down the what? Boop. That one. Yeah. Bo just like three point lands in the rain pool. Yeah. This like, is how it's done. Music <laughs> video moment. Yeah, like Tim uh, Robbins and Sean. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking like Tom yes. Holland Tom and Juliana. <laughs> okay, sorry, you guys got it. On Fallon. Yasha yeah. and Caleb need you to make another Constitution saving throw with advantage. Or like step D4. up, step up two or step three D when they did the dance in the rain. Uh-huh. Step up, step up two. Oh. Basically any dance sweet S- sequence step with a rain pool. With advantage and D4. Step up three. Jesus. Same. Okay. And then, so. Jesus, you're fine. Oh Lord. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Lord. It oh is. Lord. Just say that number out loud. Twenty nine. Eight points of poison damage. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Eight points of poison damage. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I lost wow. that. So like one, sh- one schmeasel skeleton left? One skeleton left. Or the, yeah, this the kind of lasting husk zombie. Yes. My sirens get crashed. That's okay. Oh. That's okay. It's easy enough to get back into battle stuff. You know how it goes. <laughs> All righty. Uh, that finishes. Oh, no, yeah, that, was your, yeah, that was your action. There's only one left? There is yeah. one left at the moment. Can Turn I, on dead, man. Um, for it's, my it's bonus action? For my bonus action? That's a cleric, yep. that's the cleric thing. Oh wait, no. Never mind. Because you did the spell. I yeah, did the spell that was a good call, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that finishes your go. Yeah. Ford. I'll rush over and take the last remaining undead oh, piece of shit. Two so swings. Go up for it. Uh, that's crap, 15? 15 hits. Yes. All right, second one is uh, 21. Yes. Hits. Yes. All right, all right. 10, Ooh. 9, 19, uh, 21 points of slashing damage wow. on the first nice. one. Nice. And uh, 11 plus uh, 13 points of slashing damage on the second one. You're adding the d4 to those? Yes. For the attack or the damage? For the damage. It should be added for the attack, not the, not the damage. Right, the blast. my fault. Yeah. So 11 points on the second one and only 18 points on the first one. You got it. So as you rush up, strike once through the midsection, it kind of holds up in place, like the impact causes its back to seize. The second strike carves back through its leg and it's like kind of folds and splinters, the bone breaking in two pieces. The head bends backwards in an unhealthy way and the tongue kind of lulls open. It's still standing and it's real angry. It's still standing? I didn't roll an advantage. You didn't what? I didn't roll an advantage. You should roll to see if you get a natural 20 on either of those. It's true. Yeah, just. Two, two, more, two more rolls. Yeah. They both two more rolls to see if it's a 20. Nope. Okay. okay, good enough. All right, Yasha, you're up. Uh, okay. Right. Well, I mean, I don't think it. I can get over there. Can I get over there? Can you can certainly try. I can try. Right. You can bank it! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40. Yeah, you can. Okay, okay. Whoa. All right. So I take a swing. <laughs> 
Take a big old, oh, big old swing. That's cocked. Oh. That's cocked again. Ooh. I think I have advantage. I that dice. Uh, oh wait. You do not have advantage anymore, unless that you want. That was a natural one. Unless you. Oh, yeah. You do not call. You unless not, I what? If you did, you didn't call reckless attacks before. Oh yeah, no, 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 The first no. one misses. You go forward, and as you <laughs> go to swing, your foot catches one of the swamp roots, and you almost fly into it. You get your blade up in time before you stumble into its kind of flayed body, and it manages to block you with the, with its weight. As you kind of catch yourself again, its head, which is partially pulled back, is like <laughs> biting over the edge of the blade as you retract and get yourself ah. in a ready position. Second attack. Okay. Uh, uh, you have uh, a d4 on that, too. I do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, I don't necessarily Yeah, okay. Um, 19. 19 damage? 19 yeah. to hit. 19 to hit. 19 does hit. Go ahead and roll okay. damage. Okay. 9. 16. 16 points of damage. 16 points of damage. <laughs> you stab it with the second strike and actually bisect it. Its torso <laughs> falls to the ground and the legs kind of crumple. Into place, and you're waiting for it to explode. Wait for it. Instead, the legs kind of get back up, oh! and the torso climbs up onto oh, it's its still legs. Alive. It's still Fuck. alive. It's, it was the one that made its undead fortitude save for this oh! entire fucking fight. <laughs> so it's, it remains Don't one take it hit personally. point. No, I take it personally. <laughs> All right. Okay. That finishes your turn, I believe. Can also, I try? Uh, yeah. I, I can't do anything else. Because the hex blades cursed Ooh, target died. Yeah. All that. You hear additional moans come rushing no! out of the nearby walls. No, we're just, what do we do? How do we get oh, out well, of here? You guys here? were over in the space. These guys oh. rush in here. Oh. They're just going to keep coming. Should we run? Should These two I feel like that's the only other part the color, of the spot. I have to start over. And I, I know. this time, as Alden has been falling and fighting, these all rush forward, and as they're getting towards you, and they're rushing quickly, as they're getting near your bodies, you watch their bodies swell. <laughs> Oh, pop, pop, pop. Oh, they're not even going into combat, they're just exploding. detonating around you. Isn't it, if they were within 30 feet when I would have when I hit that, would that have been a? They were out of the range and it just rushed in, because you, you guys moved to the outside that yeah. round. Um, so, I need Caduceus mm -hmm. uh, and Jester to go make uh, this baby here. Caduceus, you make two saving throws for me? Okay, um, they don't have advantage anymore. More no. advantage. Okay, that's all right, I got a d4. Constitution saving throw. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. uh, 25. Okay, eight points of poison damage. That's, keep, uh, Jester, do you mind? Uh, uh, 12. Eight points of poison damage. Second one against you, Caduceus, go ahead and roll again. I mean, it's going to add up real fast. Behind? Yeah. Uh, 20. 20, eight points of poison damage. Yes, sir. Mm, that's better. I definitely saved. Okay, that would be ten points of poison damage, and uh, Caduceus. Oh, uh, I was. Uh, no, you're only against the third one. This... I, I was. I was doing a. a sorry, Jester, I was rolling to maintain one? concentration. Another one. You made two, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, then you're, you're fine. Then. Oh, I'm um, okay. Uh, uh, those are all the ones you guys have to worry. Okay. About. And then I rolled to maintain concentration and rolled like a twenty-five. Okay, good. Good on you. Uh, not. Yep. Twice for me, if you don't mind. Sure. This is oh with, shit. With advantage? No. I uh, no. Well then, one was a. Plus you should just roll again because they hit each other. <laughs> yeah. It was a thing. And then plus one was a twenty. It shouldn't. Well, now those are terrible. <laughs> oh, Thanks, sorry. Laura. Well, <laughs> doesn't matter. It's like single digits. Fourteen points of poison damage. Sorry. Cool. Uh, Can and I evade the, one of them? Nope. There. It is not a dexterity based. Oh, you mean the um, your. Your uncanny dodge, you mean? Sure. Evasion's only against dexterity saving throws, unfortunately. Um, and evade, I think, has to be in. They're both best. Well, evade is against an attack. This technically doesn't count as an attack, so it's, it's not an attack. I'll just take it. It's fine. Uncanny dodge, it hits you with an attack, so it is not a hit or attack. So you take, for the second one, uh, I throw that one, actually. Oof. 19 points of poison damage. Ouchies. And the one that's currently between Yasha and Ford is going to go ahead and strike twice, once at each of you. Okay. Against you, Ford. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be a 14. That'll miss. Yasha, that is a 16. Uh, no. 
It strikes out, and both you guys just managed to push it away. It's barely holding on. Its body, its upper torso kind of runs, or its upper torso just climbs on top of its legs, leaps and scrambles towards Yasha. The legs just kind of stand there on its own, kind of using its own body as a catapult. You push it off onto Ford, and Ford, you catch it like, ah! Oh, you throw it back on the ground. Uh, that's their turn. Have some dignity Not yet. Uh, I mean, are they going to keep coming? Yeah. Should we run? Do you want to take your action to look around? No, I'll shoot the one between Yasha and Ford. Go for it. Take it off the 24. That hits. A million points of damage. It, yeah. Uh, we'll see if it makes its. Does not make its uh, undead forward save. I need Yasha and Ford to make another constitution saving throw mm-hmm. without advantage. Uh, with advantage. Without advantage. Without advantage. Stop. Let's stop killing. Woo. 21. Stop. We have to run away. We also have to stop killing that are next to people. Seven points of poison damage to each of you. Okay. Um, okay. What are you guys doing? Fucking moving. We, uh, how, where do we go? Uh, what, uh, Keep moving through it, or try to get I'm back to the hat? I'm going to do a detect undead really quickly again. Okay, 60 feet. 60 feet. Within that radius, you sense no other undead oh. in your immediate vicinity. So there's nothing in 60 feet? Do nothing do left. Only 60 feet. Do you want to that's build? And that will last for a little while. Yeah. So. Oh, that will last for a while. There's nothing. There's nothing around us right now. It lasts for how long? Uh, let me tell you. How that's a, damage did we just take? Lasts uh, for seven. Seven. Okay. Turn on dead lasts for a minute. This is. Oh, also, turn on dead is also still up. <laughs> was turn dead concentration though? Uh, no. no. Hold on. I'm looking. Um, Eyes of the grave is until the end of my next turn. Okay. So it doesn't. It stays up for the next round. Um, so the second, if anything comes into the next round, I get an instant warning. Turn undead. It doesn't is... say anything about concentration no, on here. I don't here. think turn undead is concentration. No, it is turn for one minute. It doesn't last for a minute. Meaning, if they're turned, they are. If they're turned, they are. Okay. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's, it's an yeah. instant move, and it can the fear that you put in them can last a minute. Okay. Yeah. So does that mean you can't detect things right now? There is nothing immediately around. Immediately around. What are you guys doing? You're all covered in gunk. Your body itself is, is burning from the poison that's now kind of seeped into the outside of your exposed flesh and begin to found its way into your armor. You better just save like mass heals for when someone goes down so it gets them up and heals everybody, I think. What? We need Quiet, we're here. Should we just try and put the hut back up? If something comes, we run. 11 minutes and then, and then the other half of us stand watch. Ape lib, cape lib. They're not going to stay away for 11 minutes. But I am keeping a very sharp eye out for anything. We should just keep going. All right, let's keep going. Up to you guys. You guys are still going? Try to get out of the mist. So was the mist, did the mist cover the whole forest? Yeah, I guess. We yes. don't know. Well, it's, it's, it, since you began to enter the forest, the, I mean, the mist was kind of slowly hanging around the, the hut anyway, the house. It's just been getting thicker as the night progresses and the temperature drops. So it's just gonna be we got to hut it. We, we, we gotta there's hide. There's no escaping it. We, we just hide. keep walking through the night, no? With exhaustion already, and I think I think we we're just gonna make more noise. We should noise. chance it for the ten minutes for the hut. Let's do ten minutes. Okay. I think I'll come, jump up we'll and run. down and I'm start keep, signaling to Caleb. And no. I'm gonna keep turn undead prepped for if anything comes Sleepy. near us, I'm gonna immediately cast turn undead. Okay. Sleepy if I see if I see a, a feather move in the forest, oh, I'm gonna see. immediately do detect. Magic. Okay. You got it. Right, so you guys. Start you. <laughs> Smart uh, person. Gorilla goes. <laughs> you know, I, I can understand everything that oh. you're saying. Oh, we didn't have to talk to you like idiots. Mm-hmm. No. Oh. Okay. You so. Can't tell us that. You go back to that little patch of land you had situated in the middle of this battle, and you begin the ten-minute process of preparing this ritual a second time. Um, who? I would say all of you guys. Um, everyone, make a stealth check. Oh, wait, that Ooh, fucking down. trunk probably attracted them. The trunk them. sound is what you think attracted them. They, oh. they weren't drawn to you until they heard the loud crack the and the no, splash in the water. Oh, oh. oh, I'm giving myself a d4 as well. 21. 21. 8. 15. 29. 19. 18. 9. Wait, these are stealth. A disadvantage. A disadvantage for anybody. Yes. Oh, for anybody it's who anybody's has, exhaust. For anybody who has exhaustion. Eight still. Okay. And mine was a natural one. Oh, your first one was a natural one. Yeah. Okay. And you, did you have a point of exhaustion from last game? I don't, I don't think, think you, I do. No, you okay. weren't exhausted. Okay. But I do have reliable talent. Wait, it does conditions. <laughs> you do. Exhaustion. Oh, then you. So do. yeah. Oh. So you roll again. So so yeah, that would be a ten plus whatever bonus you have. Oh, 23. Yeah, 23. No, wait, it's I still nine. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 
Um, Wait, what are these? Stealth? Yeah. So what did you say? Nine stealth. Nine stealth? Yeah. 17. 17, okay. You guys begin kind of guarding the space and keeping a lookout, you two in particular being ready and watchful. About five or so minutes into this casting, you begin to see a few more shapes kind of emerging from the mist, seemingly still drawn from the nearby sound of battle. They look a little they look a little confused, meaning that they're not coming directly beelining at you, but the sounds of, of combat that recently happened here, they've been moving in that direction, and you guys haven't moved away from your position, so they're just now catching up to you. They're about I'd say at this point you can you can clock them at about fifty feet from you. I will cast um, major image yes. and put a giant thrashing uh, young blue dragon one hundred and twenty feet in that direction. Okay, as you guys see this and you're beginning to prep yourself, all of a sudden you hear this. <laughs> The cracking and breaking of trees. You glance over and you see a fucking young blue dragon just land in the middle of this swamp and begin growling, its mouth crackling with electrical energy. And you watch as these as these undead immediately like their heads turn and begin running in that direction. Oh, okay. He's back. He's back. No, he's back. It's me. It's me. I did. I did it. I did it. It's me. How long can that last? <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Oh. Okay. You then sit there and wait and watch as the loud noise that that major image is is creating. Two more. Six more. A dozen more. You eventually, probably in the period of time it takes for you to finish this ritual, watch somewhere between 40 to 50 more of these Ooh. undead come out of the mists from different places, the shadows just rushing through, once again at like a sprinting speed for a zombie-like creature in the direction of this dragon that's thrashing around as they're just kind of walking in and out of its space, not intelligent enough to really discern that it's an illusion and just confused and frustrated that it's not having any effect. Some of them are popping and exploding in the hopes of, of taking this down, this thing that doesn't exist. Um, but it's it's a large, large group of them now. Probably about thirty or so are just there, nestled around this dragon illusion. Oh my God. As you finish creating the dome, it is green and brown mottled color, and it is uh, less moist inside than out, except for the ground. Okay, do you guys all step inside? Oh. Yeah. I will drop it and step inside. Drop it. Okay. Ooh, they're all gonna just come out and like. Yeah, well, we're here's, just here's the thing. We're gonna give it some time. Well, they're time. not gonna see us. They and can't they, hear us. If they come back, well, they we can, can just us. turn undead and just keep turning undead until they all go away. Okay. I still, I can still do that. You can still, do, can that. still do that. We'll be fine. I don't think the goop will get through the get through the through the thing. And they can hear through the. Uh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we should be so we as quiet, quiet as possible for quiet. a while. Caleb is picking little insects out of the damaged tree that was pulled up and is just feeding them to Frumpkin. Oh, there's plenty. Oh, I take after that. I start doing that for Sprinkle too. Okay. Uh, you stop yourself a couple times before feeding it to Sprinkle because the toxic poison that was thrown all around this area where no, you guys are planning no, to no, sleep. No. She gives it to Sprinkle. No. <laughs> Go to sleep. I welcome all Just to help everybody heal overnight, I'm going to take a few minutes to do a prayer of healing. Okay. We all are very, very, very quiet until, you know, hopefully the zombies start to like. Yep. So, as you all get quiet and kind of rest and begin setting up your space here, and you're doing what? A prayer of healing for 25 hit points to everybody. How long is it to cast? Oh. Hmm? Well, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. You. 25 points. So the illusion drops before you finish casting your prayer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as you're kind of like quietly muttering the incantation, I would like you to make a. Bless you. Bless you. So general, right. a general stealth check oh. for me. All right. To you. I don't think I can do that. Can I guide him in this moment? Uh. You I can, feel like. You can blessing of the trickster with him if you want to. What does that give me? Advantage. Oh, so I'm so it's just a straight roll. I don't have disadvantage. That's cool. That helps. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. You manage to speak the incantation loud enough that it it manages to maintain the spell itself, but not enough to draw the attention. And in that 
kind of a little bit of crossover time. You watch the the dragon that's just thrashing and growling and making noise in the middle of the swamp here suddenly vanish. And right as you're like getting towards the end of your spell, you begin to see some of the shapes wandering from where that cluster of zombies were. Right as you finish the healing effect, it flashes and it heals you all for how much? Everybody for 25 hit points. 25 hit points to all of you. Um, <laughs> but the light does not emerge because the dome manages to remain obfuscating the interior. Um, but you all watch quietly and tensely as over the next hour or so, they just begin to kind of scatter out a bit. And others that you didn't notice kind of like walk through the mist behind you. Night here is a very dangerous thing. Wow. Um, at least in this particular part of the swamp. But cold. This place used to be. Why are there so many dead people here? Yeah, We're whispering swamps. all of this. Yeah. Nothing above a teeny tiny whisper. With, you know, both of you guys can make history checks say, if you want to. I know? You might make a history check. Yeah. Okay. To the two Empire like kids. What might I know. know, being close nearby, raised here. That's what this rolls for. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have an advantage. Nope. Also because you lived here, close to here, sure. Roll with advantage, fine. But they were both, exhausted. but I'm also exhausted, so I'll take the lower of the two, which is 15. 15, okay. 18. Uh, 18. Wait, 15 is what I rolled, Okay. with a plus. history check, it's 7, 23. 23, Ooh. okay. Ooh. Um, during the time of the Julius Dominion, uh, during the time of the Julius Dominion, before the Dwindonian Empire and the Julius uh, Dominion had their, had their fight, um, there were certain sects of people that lived in the what is now the Truscan Vale and around these mountains um, that had built an entire colony based around this, this what they proclaimed to be a godlike creature that existed in this mountain. Um, they referred to it as the Twilight Phoenix, and they would burn effigies to it. Um, they have this long-standing belief that it, that this mountain was kind of its home, or it's what it what it became when it eventually laid to rest, and that's why they explain all the geothermal activity around here. They say it's just like a remnant of it. Um, we did yeah. see a purple sort of fire bird down in that temple of Okotoa. But the but the, the the people that worshipped this, um, the people that worshipped this 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 creature, this entity around this this area, um, also made a lot of enemies. And the Julius Dominion itself, though they were within its terrain, um, at some point they were hunted down and uh, killed in their in their homeland. Uh, pretty much just wiped out um, huh. around the base of Mount Mentiri. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a question. Yes. That when you were seeing that vision of Ukutoa, and he showed you something in the mountains or something mm -hmm. like a location, are we near that? No. Would you know? Yes. Okay. No, it's it's more it's closer to the Menagerie Coast and like east and inland, just a little bit before you get to the gate that leads to the okay, okay. Empire, if I remember correctly. You were correct. Okay. Oh, I remembered correctly? You did. Mr. Stone. <laughs> right. Um, right. So, what? so you you what? <laughs> Right. Uh uh, <laughs> uh, it's always a good D&D &D game when Peaches comes up. Oh, my God. Uh, all right, so. It's like you're mounting your phoenix. Yeah, no. Yeah. More. More. Peaches. Uh, I mean, I'm not explaining. It's true, right? We, we saw tapestries in that yeah. temple. One yeah. was a purple, like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that sound about right? Is there a role to see uh, if that sounds relatable? <laughs> Uh, I mean, can I roll for relatability? <laughs> no, you I mean your your history check was you, you don't have anything that directly connects those yeah, two, yeah, but there yeah, yeah. there was a mention of Phoenix, and this was a historical Phoenix in this region, mm -hmm. yeah. um, if it even existed. Like I said, there uh, there were a lot of entities that were worshipped, that were just landmarks, that were just you know giving uh, giving a persona and and a, a a divine essence to what is essentially a landmass or a natural phenomenon. This is not an uncommon yeah. thing. But it could be. Who knows? Especially then, if the worshippers were hunted down and eradicated. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you really want to get crazy, if um, Ukatoa had three temples, then I'm sure the other two entities might also have three temples. Right. Maybe. Don't know if there were any, you know, forgotten to time temples around here, do you? 
Well, I know that this was also a big battleground of the pre-Calamity. She's whispering. Yes, That's how she whispers. I'm whispering. Yeah, very, yeah. Do I know of any like weird temples around, like ruined temples? Around these parts that wouldn't fit Some that description. Um, yeah. No, yeah. based on the history check you rolled, um, <laughs> not really. None that you know of. But I know that um, Pride's Call is not far from here, and that's where they found the other beacon. It's just north of here. Right. Yeah, on the other side of this mountain range. Mm, it's right here. Not that this isn't the most comfortable place we've ever been in, but now that we're in here. Chester, do you mind telling us what oh, yes. actually happened? What the fuck happened in there? Okay, 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 okay. Um, as I'm talking, I'm just going to be watching from the direction that we came and see if anything's coming out of the mist towards us or anything. You got it. Um, well, um, okay, so do you remember when I told you guys that um, I could maybe do some like spells that would maybe affect people's memories and stuff. No, don't remember that. But wow, you're real good. I do, well, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I told you. I re- I don't know. Was I around everyone? Oh, we were talking about it with Essek, right? Yeah. Um, mm. Anyway, um, yes. So I I I sort of altered her memory just a little to where she was like, oh. Oh my gosh, Chester! I made her think that she like really liked me, and that we had like a really amazing time hanging out. Like we braided each other's hair, and you know, she just took like an immediate liking to me. Maybe she saw a little bit of herself in me. I don't know, you know. And um, so, and then she um, she was like, "Oh my gosh, I just like you so much. What can I do to make you happy?" And I was like, "I'll change, you know, help not out and change that." And she did. And it just worked. Did, well, did she did she realize what you had done? No, but she did seem a little confused at the end. And you know what? I don't know if that's normal because I've never done this before. But just in case, possibly that it's not normal. I just thought maybe it would be smart to leave. But sure. you know, that sure. is incredible. It, if it did work and if it does stick, then you know I have a really cool, powerful, good friend who likes cupcakes a lot. I'm gonna send her some for sure. Seems only fair. It's wow. very resourceful, Jester. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Were you were you nervous at all? Oh, well, of course. She's really scary looking, right? You seem a little nervous now. Well, yeah, because what if she comes after us? I mean, every, all of us were nervous speaking with her. At least I was. I don't know about you. That, that if, it, if it didn't work, what were you going to do then? Like, run, maybe like dimension door out of there if I could, or like, um. We would have thrown down. It would have been a throw down probably, or maybe, you no, know, she probably would have been real pissed if she'd have figured it out. It would have turned into a fight. Who knows, she might have killed me. Anyway, thank you for getting the job done. Yeah. Well, yes, I mean, I don't really feel any different, but I guess I am now. I I believe that she broke it. It really was like super creepy magic stuff that she did. So I I, I think she broke it. But I, that's just I mean I have so many questions. Um, but like, so if that's true, then I could just change back whenever. I I guess. I think so. Yeah, we would. No, That's again. great. But what about Beauregard? What about you? What about me? Well, I mean, didn't she affect your family somehow? I mean, here's the thing: if 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 she realizes that you know I I did something, then it's possible. But I mean, even I if she uh, doesn't re- realize, she's, it still could affect Beauregard, right? Because you, you have this, your father did something with her? Don't worry about me, or mine. D- 
don't worry about you? But... I think it's possible that if we killed her, the next day all of your father's grapes would have died. Honestly. You know, it's true. <laughs> oh, no worse. Happened. But you're not worried about your family or your safety or anything? About what? Well, th- she said that there's a price to be paid, right? A, pri- a price to be paid for what your father got. Right. What are you? What are you driving at? I don't understand what you're. I, aren't you worried about anything ha- befalling? Yeah. You? yeah. I don't, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Should we have killed her? No. Not at all. I don't think it's a price on the family. I think it's a price on him. It's a price maybe. On well, I mean, if you're going to maybe things, then you could maybe anything. Maybe there is no price. Maybe it's a price on everyone who works there. Maybe it's no price at all. Maybe it's just 10 bottles of wine. <laughs> Maybes are not the useful. It was made so long ago, I would be afraid it would unroot quite a bit. Maybe you're the price. Maybe. I thought I was. I'm glad you're not. Glad oh, you're no. you're still here. Maybe it was his fear and not being able to. Oh, oh, that's deep. Thank you. Wait, well, what was it? He, his yeah. fear was the price. Yeah, like what if you know he made his entire life so miserable because he he was seeking this rich goal that he ended up making himself miserable and Bo miserable and all these people around him miserable, and that's what she was feeding off of. That's the price that he paid. He didn't get to live a happy life with his wife. He he lived a very sad, sad life. And drove his daughter away. And now he has a son. He'll do the same thing. Maybe. I. Or maybe the price has been paid. What's done is done, you can't turn back time. True, and it doesn't seem like it's something that gets fulfilled. It just sort of seems to keep going. Is it? I don't know. I like having you here. She said the more, the better. Yeah. What do you feel like? Do you feel like your life is being siphoned away? Do you feel happier right now? Happier? Yeah. Do you feel like somebody's sucking your life force? I feel like there's I a... Don't, I don't feel that someone's sucking my life force. I think it was a different deal. There's a, there's a maximum level of happiness possible when you're ankle deep in swamp. I think this is, I think this is kind of lowering the baseline at the moment. I... Hey, hey, I hey. Feel, I honestly, I feel, I feel guilty right now. Guilty, why? Because... Why? Because we all went in there, well, I don't know, I mean, you said that you, you had offered to, to go away from us and, and leave, live a life of solitude in order to, to take this curse off of me. I mean, that was very brave of you, and... And very not okay. I mean, it was amazing. No, I don't think it was. I disagree with that entirely. What are you talking about? It was a sacrifice for her friend. It would have been a sacrifice for her and for everyone else. Yeah. Bo, you, you wouldn't for have just her, been making mostly, yourself huh? miserable. We would have been... We would have been miserable. We would have been but so she sad. would have been even more so. I mean, we still would have lost a friend in the end, so. I think the, the hag nuts. pushed us to a lot of ultimate decisions. But I was ready to move away from everything. You were ready to entertain war between I know, nations. I that's what I'm saying. That, what I, the thing that no. I was, I was a coward. That. I was a coward. <gasps> sorry, sorry. You all get quiet for a minute and you watch as two of these zombies can like, <laughs> Come lumbering through the swamp, waiting. I open the uh, door to the hut and I just throw one of my ball bearings. There's no well, there door. No door. <laughs> oh, I yeah, just yeah, reach through and I go and it's toss cool. a ball bearing. That's the south. There's a screen okay. door. Yeah, whatever. So they're both, they're both <laughs> kind of, and one of them finds yeah, the hut and yeah. is kind of like scraping against know. the exterior. Oh. <laughs> they both. <laughs> and deal with any like, no. distractions right now. Anybody scry on us in the hut? Uh, well, we are packed pretty tightly, and no one can scry on me, so <laughs> probably not at the moment. Okay. Just making sure. Don't, Why? Don't go. Well, I mean, this isn't going to last forever, right? So it doesn't, if, it doesn't mean you pull the 
pin on it. Follow your own advice. Don't go. I know you think you're done. I understand. You're not done yet. How do you know? I know things. Okay. It's not an answer, you know that. All right, I'll answer it. You're young, you're full of life. You hook up with anything that moves. You haven't even begun to live your life. I'm this much older than you, and you're ready to quit and move on from everything that's good in your world? There's a greatness in you that you've maybe known three months. This is just the beginning. To think that you've peaked is insane. Well, what are you going to do? What are your goals? To stay with my friends, to see what happens, to watch over you. You've watched over me as I've explored my past. The least I can do is return the favor. I'm invested now. I want to see peace between these nations. I want to see what this green cloaked figure is that Jester keeps talking to. I want to see not get back what she wants. Yes, the traveler. traveler All right, it's fine. We owe it to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Not doesn't seem to care about me, but I care about her. It's okay. I care about you, Ford. Tell me again. (laughs) (laughs) I care about you, Ford. I care about all of you. You all would have sacrificed so much for me. You did. You risked your life in there. She could have seen through your little spell and taken off your cute little head. Well, she would have taken off my cute little hands faster. That's bad, too. Yeah, we we would have come running in at, like, the first yelp. If we could. We're not done until we I don't know what's going on in that party, you guys. And why would we have come running in at the first yelp? My delts are crazy. Thank you. (laughs) She's Why? Really Why thin. would we have come running in? Because we care about each other. Oh, fucking shit, we do? Amazing. Does that apply to you as well? I don't know. No, I think it does. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that again. Don't you care what happens to not? Don't do that again. Okay. Just. Uh, I guess. Yasha, okay. This one. Yeah. Most of all. Uh. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> we did really good. That was crazy. You should have seen her up there on the roof. Bitch had four elbows. It's not normal. <laughs> I saw it. Like, literally, I, I have to do a poop check. <laughs> yeah. I want to do it here, but we're all trapped in this bubble. That still has poop on her leg, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What was that from again? <laughs> <laughs> from seeing the hag. Oh. Yeah. 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 I don't want to look. I don't want to break the seal. We'll all be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we just got this one back. We don't need to lose one. Yeah. Nobody goes. Okay. Okay. Do you, do you think my brother is destined for like a life of misery, though? Well, maybe you can you can break him from that. Maybe there are other ways. I mean, like hey. how? Do you want to kidnap him? No, but I was kind of I was kind of thinking about it. You could have found a Wait, did you say kidnap him? Yeah, what if we just yeah. let you take him? Well, she. I mean, Beauregard said something interesting. She said like, "Oh, Luke and my brother. What is his name? JT, TJ, 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 Thoreau T- Junior. And my dad's T- got an ego. Luke and Ooh. TJ could be friends. What if we just went back and kidnapped your brother and took <gasps> him to live? What if we go up there, a dimension door in, a snag him up? I think. Bamf out. Maybe maybe TJ is going to reach an age." He'll reach out, and you'll be there to get him out of a it's bad true. situation. Nothing makes siblings connect faster than shitty parents. <laughs> it's true. Plus, I have a good way of talking with angsty teens, so. Yeah. Just to wait uh, 10 years, and. Yeah. <laughs> and you yeah. really connect. And he's probably safer 
there than, you know, taking, yes. we can't take a baby on the road with us, you know? Yeah. Kiri. With his mother. Kiri turned that right. okay. like She's shatterproof wonderful. glass. His mother, is your mother, yeah. like, walking around caring at all? Telling people to go fuck herself. <laughs> She's, <Set himself>. <laughs> She's caring when she, She's caring, yeah. She cares. I bet when your dad isn't around, your mom's cool. That's kind of exactly it. Yeah. What if yeah. when your mom's not around? Is that okay? Mm. I think it's a little different. Did if you you're know? talking about yourself, it is 100% different and do not fucking compare yourself to my parents. Well, I'm totally absent right now. But there's a difference between pursuing the things that make you happy and showing that and being an example to your kids and then just totally fucking being so self-absorbed in your own damage that you just transfer all of that and neglect them. Wow, that's, that's very well put, actually. No, that's really well put. What were your uh, parents like? What was your mom's name? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I had lovely parents. Yeah. Ashley was her name. Uh -huh. <laughs> everyone, everyone, write that down. <laughs> it was easy to remember. And your father? Travis. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, these sound. Uh, those are the most. Cannon. Those are great names. Some really good names. Strong, <laughs> strong <laughs> names. Glorious really names. <laughs> I had three older brothers who I. I didn't get along with too well, but my parents were loving and kind. And my, my parents would take long, long trips. <sighs> well, yeah, okay. I mean, we were. How did you cope with that? Very well. We would. We had a close family and uh, pilgrimages and leaving home to check in on other people was pretty common. They'd be gone months at a time sometimes. Your parents? And my aunt. Not all at once, nor obviously, but you know, eventually, every now and then, some of my siblings would go too. I would have eventually gone for things longer than like two weeks to get supplies, but. Was it lonely? Did you miss them? Oh, I missed them, but it wasn't lonely. How did you know that they still loved you while they were gone? Absence is, isn't the opposite of love. Plenty of, plenty of, there's plenty of ways to show someone you don't love them that don't involve not being there. Being off and doing good work was important. That's what we, that's what we did as a family. It's, they were being their best selves. My dad wasn't around and he was off doing good work and. Well, well. well. <laughs> sure. He was doing work. But he was very successful at the work he did, no doubt. Yeah, and yeah. you know what, though? My mom always told me if he could be here, he would. And that if he knew me, he would love the shit out of me. She didn't say it exactly like that. But, you know, your husband is telling your son how much you love him. But I could. He knows. But I could be there. I can as soon as as soon as we want. Yeah. That's true of anything. That's true right now. You could have been there this whole time. No. It's tr true a month ago. It's pretty obvious that Yeza would accept you as you are. You're also making like boatloads of cash, which can like totally go to like a great scholarship and like a retirement fund. Braces are know? not cheap these days. Absolutely. Yeah. Ford knows. You don't want. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want Luke filing down his own teeth. That yeah. shit hurts. No, I don't. They look good though. They're looking real good. Thanks, Jess. But what if I? What if when I change? If I when I change back? What if? What if I don't? What if I don't? I don't want to stay with you guys. Mm -hmm. Then you don't have to. You don't have to. That's okay. But just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. Yeah, it's important that you know that we want you to. But your decision matters the most. And if you don't stay with us, 
we'll know you love us. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about going back home and having a, a family life, is that an exciting thought to you? Yes and no. I mean, yes, of course, I want to be with my, my family. I, I, they need me. I, I need to be with them. And it's all I've wanted for so long, but just to go back and to be a, uh, a supporting player in my story doesn't seem... I don't know how I would feel about that. I mean, we've we've had so many amazing adventures together. You tried to kill me, and that's cr that's crazy. That's exciting. Did I not? I didn't. Well, I mean, you, 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 you tried to kill me I a did. couple times. I, I almost did kill you. I tried to kill you. You've actually, you've you've you've. I think you stabbed me a few times. Oh, I'm sure. Bo yes. has shot me in the ass. I'm sorry. Yes, he... Not has shot Bo in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Your you've Bo. shot my Bo. <laughs> so yeah. I'm, I'm exhausted, <laughs> literally. Literally. Sorry. I throw another ball bearing. <laughs> 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 Shit! You meant that the wrong way. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't know how. I don't know how to manage Without it. Knowing the hide like the most I, deadly thing. <laughs> I do. I do want to be with them. Of course, I want to be with them. And I, I'm worried that when I get get to be with them again, I won't want to leave. Yeah. And and if I if if I do, I'll feel shitty about it. And and when I'm with. With you, I'll feel great, but I'll also feel a little bit shitty. And when I'm with them, I'll feel great, but also kind of a little bit shitty. And, and I'm and I'm not brave enough to do either. I think I've been thinking this for a while. Not there is a truth to the to the idea that you could have gone back at any time. Mm -hmm. Have you ever really taken some sober? Quiet time to think about what it is that you actually want, and not what you think you should want. Silver is not my thing, really. Oh. If it's possible to just sit and really try and clear your mind and figure out what it is I've, that would bring you the most peace. I've never really been like religious or anything, but do you think I should like sit and pray to the traveler? Definitely. <laughs> I was going to suggest maybe some quiet meditation, but is that something that you can do without believing in in some god thing? To just you sit only and have to believe be in quiet? quiet. I could teach you that. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it's I, like monk one hundred and one shit. <laughs> A skill Skillshare class? Yeah. It's like 75 you only have gold. To believe in yourself. <laughs> it's a subscription service. I thought, I thought Monk 101 was horse ass slapping. That's another Skillshare course. You, you get a lot, a lot of that. in uh, 101. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and the first year's a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Backpack's super heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cobalt. <laughs> class load. Just jog a mile first. <laughs> All right, maybe if we have some time, I mean, we're in the Swamp of Doom here. We we're can't also really right. pressed like sardines because we don't have, oh, no, we cleared it, we cleared it. So we, we cleared it. it. We're pretty tight right now. But we're really close I because we're really whispering. So we're meditation is about yeah. blocking out everything around you and your head and just. All right. I can help, I'll just, yeah, I'll just poke. I'll just poke not the whole time. That's like high That's level meditation. That's like he's not a into challenge. That. No. Yeah, I don't know. Should I yes. get drunk first? Or no, no, you, no. you really that, should. That, that, that will make That's it hard. Bad. And it, like I, I appreciate that sentiment. I know where you're going, but no. Maybe you should skip that flask for a few days and think about it. What is it considered? Does it make you wise when you are meditating? You want to try it with me? 
Am I about to lead the group in a group meditation? Fuck yes, let's do that. All right, all right. All right. Who all wants right. to meditate? I do. I'm ready. I'm all right. now. It's a yoga class. <laughs> yeah. Zombie feel. This is a first. This is a first. Which, mind you, the space in here is very much like like a like a sleepover. You all are kind of Tetris in this oh, interior yeah. space. I'll also yeah. say that we all are exhausted, so this yeah. is going to be really hard. Everyone's just going to fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But then I'm right. going to wait before do we, we need do this. Like a word? Like, what? No. like no. a chanting word? No. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a monkey else. chant. That's different. A monkey chant? Yeah. That's good, good, good callback. Like, yeah. a, a monk apostrophe Y or a monkey chant? No, like a monkey. But that's I appreciate monkey. that that's as well. Yeah. yeah. But isn't that I've heard, I've read or whatever? Mm-hmm. Like, don't you have to say a word over and over to like lull that's yourself? Called something else. That's, yeah. that's something. I mean, okay. there's like many ways of meditation. <laughs> there's no real right way. Right. You know, it kind of depends right. on what works best for you and your inner peace. All right, take us through it. <laughs> I'm going to hold on before oh. we do this. Okay. I'm going to cast enhanceability <laughs> at third level. <laughs> <laughs> On not guidance, <laughs> <laughs> and also myself, because the whole time we're doing this, I'm keeping an eye out for anything coming through the mist. Yes, okay, it. watching as well. Hands ability on which ability? Uh, owl's wisdom. Okay, you got it. Make a perception check. Advantage. Mm-hmm. Guide me. Woohoo! That's a good uh, 25. 25. You're keeping watch on them. Uh, the the heavy cluster of these these undead that had found you, it's taken a long time, like the past hour and a half or so, you guys have been like kind of waiting and talking and catching up a bit. They've been slowly dissipating. There's maybe a handful that are visible, about maybe 100 feet away or more, and even then just barely through the mist, um, and only because you rolled so high. But you don't see any immediate danger. You haven't drawn any immediate attention, and for the time being, you feel safe. Okay. Are you gonna guide them through meditation? Everyone, lay on your back. Oh, we're laying down. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I'm gonna. We're doing this way. Oh, I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna sit. Fine. I'm gonna sit till I can keep watch. Close, Close our up, space. Everybody. Close your eyes. Just begin to focus on your breathing. I feel itchy. No, don't. You uh, push it out. You are the worst of your brain. <laughs> Try not to to move. Try not to touch anything. Just try to release. I am thinking so many things. Stop! About. Shut up, Caleb. God, <laughs> fucking. All right. <laughs> <sighs> Ignore the fucking undead. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. All day. <laughs> perfect place to meditate. Yeah. I don't know what it looks like, but with my eyes closed, this is so great. <laughs> You see it from 500 feet, and there's just the closing <laughs> in on this little this is, this is the weirdest 28 Days Later reboot I've ever seen. <laughs> we'll say, Namaste. we'll say, and I lead them yeah. through a guided meditation. You do, and you know what? Who here isn't doesn't have a point of exhaustion? Doesn't? Yes, yes. does not. Right? I do. You do. All right. I don't know. Caleb where and Jester, it is a very nice guided meditation. It is weirdly calming for you, very challenging for you for the continuous amount of information that's going through your head, but you do find a few moments of clarity. You finish the meditation, you both open your eyes, and that was really peaceful. Everyone else is dead asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm alright with that. Did your spirit animal come to you? Did you like have a vision? Did you you're talking to Did you? I was talking to them. Well, I guided the meditation, so I'm assuming I am. <laughs> That's some yeah. ASMR shit. Be, be, I was out. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Tickles. Be, because you know this space well, you weren't you weren't taken by the meditation to put you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> nice cover. <laughs> what was that sound supposed to be? <laughs> I'm tickled. But the meditation successful was nice. Eventually, you find yourselves. To a comfortable rest for the night within the safety of this dome, hopefully for the length of time that it remains, as it is an eight hour dome and you've spent the first two hours of it talking and going through this meditation. But that should be fine. As you find yourselves asleep in the middle of the darkened, mist covered swamp. One last thing. Yes? As we're going to sleep, I just want to apologize, Caleb. 
I mean, I just want you to know that I would never use anything to modify a memory on you or, or Yasha or anyone that, that we know, you know, I know what it means and well, uh, it's a, it's a tricky thing and it's all about what you do with it, really. Yeah. And you did a good thing. Yeah. You made her happier? I and think so. It sounds like you made uh, uh, your new friend happier as well. the now relatively still marsh waters that rest around here, the darkened dome visible. You all find a nice rest. We're gonna go and take a break. Long rest, baby, yeah. give me that. You did, you got yourself a long rest. Turn. Um, I, I think, knocked over. There it is. My information sheet for the giveaway tonight. We have our giveaway tonight from our uh, friends at Wormwood Gaming. Wormwood. We're giving away the Valentine's Day Vault, which includes a custom transcription transcription, uh, in Quenya Elvish. Uh, so we got, I guess, two of these to give away tonight, which is kind of rad. Um, you can order it now until February 8th, so very soon, little window, at wormwoodgaming.com to receive it by Valentine's Day if you're looking to like give one of these out to nice a present to a special someone, so you got two days to get it in time. Um, so we're, we're giving you the keyword, but remember, you can only enter once in chat. Uh, entering more than once will disqualify you guys. Um, uh, once again, it's for US and uh, Canada only, so we can go back because of challenging laws. Okay. Um, but yeah, the word tonight is cupcake. C U P C A K E, cupcake. <laughs> we'll be back here shortly to continue our story. See you in a bit. Yay! You got the perfect warlock, her weapons and supplies, but you need a place to track your stuff. So disorganized. You click open the web page. You heard about a critical role. And now you're ready to kick some butt in that mine shaft full of no.
All work, no play. <laughs> Last time on Tox Machina. We saw your face journeys, but can you talk about your train of thought? <laughs> As Laura Bailey once again proved, she is the bestest at haggling. It, it took a while to realize what she was doing, but then when we did, we were like, there's no way. I, I, I didn't, I genuinely didn't know what she was doing until, until it was, I was like, are you, is this a bit? Are you just doing a bit? Is this like, yeah, and then that spell Did you think out. she was going to really give up her hands? I thought she was going to give up her hands, second. but I was like, she I must have like, some spell no where she can throw them back. That. Jester does shit that you're like, how did you even, you're so impulsive and you do think, like, it, it wouldn't have surprised me if she did it. It was so, it was so clutch too. It, it was, was so fucking so crazy. so cool. She's playing some long cons this campaign. Yes. Yeah, sure. that, yeah. Every now and then you see somebody in one of these games just do something just so off the fucking wall. That was so off the fucking wall. And she used Modify Memory in such a positive way, mm -hmm. which is what was so cool. It was just so delightful. And then mm -hmm. just like, now the hag is like, oh, I got a buddy now and I wonder where she is. I just want to hang out with her. I mean, who knows? Maybe in the future. That's, well, that's going to come back to haunt come back. Yeah, because Matt, gonna come back to haunt. Matt even did one of those, you know, things where he says, yeah, but, you know, and he's smiling while he does it. That makes me think, you but know. But in the moment. Oof. Yeah. But in the moment, yeah, it was a, it was incredible to see. That's what she chose to do instead of, uh, yeah, it was baffling. Oh, instead it was of, so good. You do often see modified memory used not that way, and I thought that, yeah. Yeah. And, and it, yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. It's it was so good in the cupcake. It was just like, ugh, it was such, it was so good. It was a, it, Perfect. It was perfect. As people went went in and out of a Sharnai's cabin, the, how'd I do? Good. Great. I'm awesome. You look like you had a plan, but didn't get to act on it. Uh, the best I came up with, uh, I came up with the idea of uh, uh, Clay was was thinking of offering to to um, never go home again. Oh. Whoa. So Ooh. still still save everything. Yeah, Still, but just never see it. But just be like, uh, I agree to never, never, you know, that I won't, you know, once oh. it's up, it's fine. Oh. That's rough. That's oh. rough. But That's rough, buddy. Harsh. Didn't, didn't have, didn't have to do it, so. God damn. <laughs> How did it feel for Yasha to be told she was already too miserable to make a bargain with? Does Yasha <laughs> agree that she is the bottom of the barrel or has she found some happiness with her friends? I would, I think she would agree with that. Uh, uh, um, and I think it was almost good for her to hear that, of like, you're the bottom of the barrel right now. Um, I do think she's slowly finding happiness with her friends and sort of getting comfortable with those relationships again. I think sort of the conversation with Caleb sort of was nice, to, I mean, to sort of have a, a a companion in uh, misery. When communing with the Wild Mother, Caduceus received confirmation that his family indeed is at the menagerie. However, Matt described this response having less intensity. How did Caduceus interpret this? Not all of them are there. Mm, okay. Just That uh, was his immediate thought, is it's just, just one or two of them, not everybody. Mm. Probably mm. one, but. But that that was that was how I interpreted it anyway. And how did he res how did he feel about this news? Um, relieved and also embarrassed that he that he bothered to ask. It was one of those things where you shouldn't ask. This is not so, the sort of thing you ask. That's that that that's a, a sign of cowardice. Yasha made up her mind very quickly to enter the hag's home to make a deal. What was her thought process while listening to Bo speak about the deal she wanted to make? I didn't necessarily see it as one-upping one -upping each other, but I get that. But I think all of us were like, no, I'm not gonna let you do that. I have, I, I can give up something, you can't, but I can because you're more important. Mm. Um, but I think it was just sort of, oh. It's Marisha. <laughs> Speaking of. He's excited to see Marisha. It was a slow walk. Stealthily. You can't you speak stealthy. out stealthily from that dog. You rolled low on that stealth. Yeah, that was, like, a no, that was a natural one. Natural one. Yeah. What do you make of Jester leaning into the more serious side of the trickery domain, as this was a masterful display of 
subterfuge against a powerful being rather than just one of her innocent pranks. I feel like the innocent pranks are already covering for the for the masterful subterfuge. I think it's all a grand scheme, personally. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, we don't fully know what happened in there yet. No, we actually, as the characters have the no. The characters don't. She literally just, she just ran out of there like 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 somebody running out of 7-Eleven going, don't ask like questions. Start the car. Yeah. Start the car. Start the car. We're going right Let's now. Go. Right now. Back your don't ask. Kid. No, we're not leaving. Don't look back. No, we're not leaving him. No. Oh, Henry. <laughs> Henry? He's, I feel like. Boy, don't go over there. Mother. That's something special. There's a cop hiding somewhere in here. He's been trying to sniff him out for me. I trained him to sniff There's out cops. There's a cop cops. hiding in all of us. Sit. Really, when you think about it. That's true. The cop inside me. I read that book. Changed my life. You just won the Super Bowl. What are you gonna do now? I'm subscribing to Critical Role. Wonderful, yeah. and that's it's about perseverance, like remembering to resubscribe with Twitch Prime every month. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, 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 well, ooh. could you? Well, I've done it without my teammates. Come on, no way. And they couldn't have done it without the Twitch subscriptions that I gave them. Right, guys? Yeah. I gave them, but what about? Oh, uh, what about what about what inspires me? You mean? Well, Yeehaw Game Ranch really does. I mean, watching that dehydrate hydrated piece of string cheese Brian Foster every couple weeks really gets me pumped for the big game! Sam, <laughs> hold on. We have to... Can't be, you can't believe it? You can't believe it? Is that what you said? Well, it's true, because every Yeehaw VOD is instantly available as soon as you subscribe! It's amazing! Sam! We did it, guys! Sam! Yeah! Yeah! Sam! Yeah! What? Sorry. Just say I'm going to Disneyland. You're doing a commercial for Disneyland. Oh. Uh... Well, it's a Disneyland. I don't know, I, I gotta be honest with you. I, oh! I got hit in the head pretty hard out there. Oh my God. Whew, uh, I'm not good at sports.
Welcome back. All righty, so we have our two winners for the two pieces in our Wormwood giveaway with these two Valentine's Day inscripted bits. The winners are Thin the Veil. Congratulations, Thin the Veil. And Gamer Jasmania. Congratulations to the both of you. Uh, we'll get those pieces sent out to you. ASA thing. All righty. Wow. So, Mighty Nine. After a long rest is acquired, the points of exhaustion of which those of you still maintain them, if you have just one, goes away. I believe you all just have one point each. Um, But you awaken just as the dome itself vanishes. Uh, You're awakened because as soon as it does, the warm, comfortable interior and the not as terrible smell suddenly vanishes, and you find yourself immediately exposed to the elements of the swamp, and you all kind of wake up as the cold air and the mist still burning off in the early morning around you greets you to the day. Early to bed, to early time to bed. rise. Okay. Um, none. Oh. We're good. All For right. the time being, at least. <laughs> <laughs> We should get out of here. We should get out of here. Caleb. Yeah? I'm picking my spells. Can you teleport us out, or do I need to find the path? I uh, I think so, but I don't know that I can draw upon the ground mm. here. Right. So we need to finding walk the path. a little bit. Hold on, oh, let me see, hold on. Don't Wait, they have like could, a shape? You could paint a, a ground. I could paint, paint the on? ground on the shitty ground. Paint like a yeah, like on, a, like a break dancing, uh cardboard piece, mm. like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I do. How much space do you need to make the circle? Uh, ten foot diameter. Circle. Big break dance. Well, I could stone shape a couple times. Or we just walk. Or we just walk out. Hmm. We walked in. <laughs> Maybe we walk until we get. To ground that you can drop on. Where do we want to go again? I don't know. We can back the way we came. Well. Do you think our horses are still alive? <gasps> How do you think I WC Junior is doing? Home. No, we sent them home. Remember? I know, but do you think they made it? No. Me <laughs> neither. <laughs> Not a fucking chance. <laughs> oh, I'll just stay under this tree at night. <laughs> 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 Oh, they were disguised yeah. as more bounders dancing around like horses. Oh, yes, that's true. Yep. For how long? An hour or something? <laughs> no, it was eight hours. Eight hours. Oh, okay. Seeming eight hours. hours. Yep. Concentration. Seeming lasts a while. No, not concentration. Yeah. We could head that way and see if there's anything left. Something's a scrap. They were, well, they got killed when they got into town because they were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move. Take advantage of the light. Wild, they'll be fine. Do we have to move quietly, or just just go as fast as we fucking can? I kind of want that to be really reality. <laughs> <laughs> just because it's so funny. Are we casting your path locating spell, or just taking it? I mean, I guess I can I can prepare it. Give me it's a okay. second. If you're continuing to traverse here, we will we will begin doing a skill challenge. Oh, um, right. If you're heading, if you're walking that's the rest of this path, we should teleport. Um, we certainly can't draw it. It's up to you. Find the path. Uh, will help reduce the number of successes required to make your way out. We are done with your family. You don't need. That's it for now. Yep. You don't need yeah. to go back. For I have no answers. To kidnap your brother? We're not. No. I can't. Not yet. <coughs> I don't think. I have nothing else to report. I don't think. <laughs> Dennis. Nothing. Nothing. I can't send in a message. I can send a message. She was gesturing to you, so yeah. Yeah. Oh. By the way. Then yeah, I could send a message. That meditation stuff. I mean, it felt a lot like sleep. Yeah, you fell asleep. <laughs> I didn't. I stayed awake. We'll try no, you when asleep. we're not so tapped. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Um, for the time being, you just practice being sober. Okay. How has that been? Because I know you were like kind of doing all right, and then like 
but I don't know I've if that's been sneaking held. a lot of no, booze. Uh, <laughs> we've like noticed. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, no, we know. Cool. I mean, yeah, it's been going great then. <laughs> we, can, we can often tell because you get a little aggro. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Is it something you want us to help remind you with, or no? No, I like to drink. Right. Do you want us to help but you with that? But if, we're, no. but if I'm aiming for this meditation thing, then I will do my best. So yes, if you catch me taking a little nip, why don't Yasha, why don't you knock it out of my head? Are you sure? Yep. Yasha's the only one with permission? Yeah, be, yeah. What but if she doesn't notice, and the rest of us do? Are we allowed to tell, tell, tell her? Yeah, are, you, are you stopping uh, entirely, or is there? Yeah. Are you like no, doing no, a taper thing? Wider is better. Yeah. Broad, well, broad. Anytime you take a nip, I knock it out of your hand. Go ahead. I give you permission. What about like if we go to a tavern or something, and you you want nope. something nope. to drink? Nothing. Knock it out. Oh, wait, this, this counts as ca- a taverns too? Anywhere. Oh, booze is booze is booze. All right. <laughs> but a lot of taverns have decent milk. <laughs> I've seen the lumpy shit that you drink. It's like stew. It's like dairy stew. I have you a have lot some of tea. I also <clears throat> have some dust of deliciousness left. <laughs> okay, so you can make the curdled <laughs> milk taste like a cupcake? Yeah. Like butter. All right. <laughs> New England clam chowder. Okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> A nice Ooh. shot of, of New Ooh. England clam chowder <laughs> with tequila. Oh, no. Beer and ranch dressing. Right. Sounds good. <laughs> you saved yourself and you saved us all. Uh, so what's the plan? Are you guys traversing I, the uh, no, way back? No, I am going to use stone shape. Okay. And I'm going to look for a patch of ground that is, um, you know, Good and I'm gonna make it nice and flat and like drawable for Caleb. Okay, yeah, you can definitely do that with that spell. So you take a little bit of time keeping an eye out as well, um, setting up this kind of stone flatland platform large enough to contain this circle of teleportation. Um, easily enough, it's available to you. You can begin the inscribing on the ground. Destination. Oh, Anywhere? <laughs> East or west? Yes, yes, I, don't care. I don't care. The menagerie. Close to the menagerie. Well, we can go to um, use us. Mm-hmm. Do you want to give him a heads up this time? We Wait. could actually be responsible for once. Is that, weren't we going to? <gasps> Caduceus. Caduceus? That, that would be on the way, that would be the way to do it. Uh, on the way, well, no, I mean, well, we're, we're like over here. But I don't know if Menagerie's here and yours is over, over here. But, so the, but what he's saying is, I don't know if Caleb knows any other closer teleportation circles no, no. past that. Oh, we can go to Ro- Rosanna and and ask Isaac to take us there. Or we can get the get the the, the, the ship and go to your place and, go to and then place go and do and go the meetup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of seafaring. Yeah. Isn't that just three weeks of seafaring? Awesome. That we haven't been great. on a boat in a long time. We're just going to go on a sail for three weeks? Don't yeah. we have shit to do? Don't yeah, you want to. Isn't the con oh. coming up? Uh, I'm going to send a message to Orly and see where they are. You're right. But we'd be going down okay. there. We'd be going down the river. I still think... Orly to stay, right? We did. You told Orly to hang around that boat. Hey, Orly, don't go. Stay. We did? Mm-hmm. I Stay. think so. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to send them a message. Right. Well, just, well, I mean, you can. Just well, just well, right. Right. We're, up, okay. we're right here, right? Just Ish. to clarify. Uh, actually, north of Camorda. You're more up there, yeah. Okay, and the so, menagerie's here? Yeah, but it's Nicodronus is down further. Yeah. <laughs> and just, just so I'm clear, we, who right now are near another destination that we had, which pr- is what Pride's call. Just, there was an, uh, another oh. item on the to-do list. No, no, no. We, an we are old going item to. Well, we... Sure, sure, sure. But <coughs> we're going to choose not to do that, and instead well, we don't... decide to go on a three-week-long boat trip to a place that we could get to in one day. Well, we decided we weren't going to do Pride's call because we decided That's we didn't fine, need but to. Even going to to Caduceus's 
family, we could get there in a day and a half versus three weeks of, of boat you trip. You mean if we traverse all these mountains and come down this way? No, if we if we teleport back to Jorhas and ask Essek to just take us there. Yeah, that's assuming a lot from Essek, though, right? You're it's just like, I don't, wanna, I, don't, I don't know if I want to keep burning favors. I'm happy to just take the journey. I'm a He's big believer in the journey. He's a, I can send him a message and ask him if yeah, he can do it. let's ask him. I mean, we did... Um, uh, He's he did help. Well, and then you make an incredibly powerful spell. Seems to be I'm like okay. DTF. I'm personally happy getting on a boat. I'm. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh. Either way, Orl is going to have to meet us. That boat is going to take three weeks. Yeah, the boat's pretty. To slow. get to the other place. Yeah. Okay. Why don't we ask Essek first? That's always the first step, right? Asking. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Something to put into practice. I'm gonna every send time. a message to Essex. <laughs> Question If we needed to teleport somewhere, would you be able to do it? Because you love us now? Or is it still like not cool? It's hard to catch. I hate it, he goes crazy. Well. <laughs> That depends on where you're going. If it is a place I don't know, there is significant risk, but possible. Yeah, we did this before when we were chasing yeah, yeah, Elmo. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just fell through a bunch of fucking trees. That's risky. I'm into it. Right? We're um, into it. I mean, what do we want to do? It's a great idea. I, no, I think I'm it's actually the fastest mind. way to do it. And then we do the stuff for Caduceus. And then we can teleport to Nicodranus. And then we take a boat. And ride then we for take three a weeks. boat. Ah! Well, not for three weeks, just for a couple weeks. We go do with the negotiation, and then we go to Traplicon. Are you wanting to take a boat? I was because excited you about wanted the boat. Do you, are you excited about the boat because it was going to stall for another three weeks? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Caduceus, you're very honest normally. <coughs> well, if we I run out of time. I think he honestly doesn't know. I don't know. We could it's go to Nicodranus, deal. get on the boat, go do the negotiation, oh, no. go to TravelerCon, and then go do the stuff for your oh, family is, if you want to delay. There is, there is the negotiation. Mm-hmm. No. You have to be on the boat. No, let's, 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 let's do this. All right. Fuck yes, let's do this. Really? Sure. Okay. How much time until TravelerCon? Uh, it's about, I think, four weeks? Four to five weeks at this point? Somewhere in that neighborhood? The negotiation. It's like it hasn't changed, or it's. <laughs> I mean, it's only been a couple days. Every time That's I ask, true. it's like a day. It's yeah. A day. Yeah, it's between like four and five weeks, I think. People okay. come and go I so have, quickly. I have here. everything I need. Everything I need for. I don't necessarily know what I need to do, but I've, I've got. I've got everything I need for. Ba- you have. You have completed the visions that brought you <laughs> to, uh, to Kravarod, and the. You have the materials that you recall in the visions that you required for the next stage. But that's all you. All you know. Okay. Yeah. You want to try it? Sure. All right. Let's go to Jorhas. Ready? Yeah. Oh, we didn't All tell right. them. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We told the one person and the other. We talked about it. We talked about it. That's the step right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. All baby steps, turn. guys. All all baby steps. <laughs> We're the worst. We're capable of changing our actions. We wanted to care. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> we are the worst house guests. <laughs> all right. You all immediately return. There we go. To the Lucid Bastion basement. <laughs> All arriving in the familiar basement. The uh, posted Aurora watch spin around just to check that brief moment of like, uh, and they go back to their post. You walk through familiar you know, crystal walled halls, uh, head nods of recognition, though it is bustling. You can tell that there is kind of an energy here, uh, probably due to the current kind of holding of any sort of conflict. A lot of people are figuring out what to do, what to watch for, what to be careful of in that time period, as well as preparations for this 
you know, seafront negotiation, of which, uh, while the leaders will not be physically present, there will be a lot at stake and on the table for this discussion. You make your way into the open Galamafri, uh, heading your way towards the, uh, the neighborhood where the Jor House resides. The tree greets you, still glowing in the eternal night that is this city. Um, you approach the door, ding, 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 opens, um, and your home is as you left it. I'm going to go wash all this poisony swamp nest mm. in this off of me. It just occurred to me, we, we have a lot of money. Should we hire someone to take care of the house while we're not here? Well, we did, but they up and left. Well, I don't even know where she went. <laughs> she wasn't really hired. She, <laughs> she was. She's an expositor of the Cobalt Reserve. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to go take a bath. But should we hire No, someone? I don't really care. I think it's quite nice in there. But like, there's never any food here. When we get back, we have to get shopping. <laughs> Caduceus is for. I guess so, but. Caduceus, can we heat up the hot tub? Yeah, we no, need the hot tub. We have to fill up the hot tub. Person, our our servant could could do that for Caduceus, us. Caduceus, could I have a mushroom and moss sandwich, please? <laughs> I can do all these things. <laughs> it's still relatively early in the day, right? Like we woke up. Seven, put some stone. Uh, you did, but you traveled a bit, so you lost a bit yeah. of time. Okay. So by the time you guys had yeah. had uh, come to and set yourself up, so I'd say you would have left around like probably nine. Okay. Uh, to have gotten your full rest from the time you did actually sleep. Um, getting here, I'd say it's close to midday. Okay. Though once again, middle of the night right. here in Rosana most mm -hmm. of the time. Um, so you're looking around noon. Okay. So you begin to. Prepare. I'm going to prepare the hot top, and I'm going to make some sandwiches. Okay, for everybody. there you go. Proper moment of downtime. <laughs> Crust cut off, I assume. What? Crust for, cut off? No, that's where all the nutrients are, right? For, for, you said it's all in the crust. I, I'm just assuming you're going to be picky. No. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> Wait, what kind of sandwich is this? Mushroom and moss. Mushroom and moss. It's an M&M. It's a Caduceus special. Yeah. Working on it. <laughs> tiny triangles, tiny triangles. It's like tea sandwiches. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Multi tier. Yeah. yeah. So cute. <laughs> is there any <laughs> While you're eating sandwiches, you guys have like the afternoon here in Rosana, whatever. You, is there anything you want to accomplish while you're in the city? Anything you're looking for? Or. Mm. Yeah, I want to go uh, shopping. <laughs> uh, I have a, an errand to run. Okay. Is I want to uh, ask around town. And find a, a, sh a magical shop. Uh, scrolls. Spells. Oh, scrolls in particular. Yes. Um, you do know. I mean, there, there are a couple of small magical shops. If there is a place to go to get that sort of knowledge, um, you can try first the Marble Tomes Conservatory, or you can try and look for a place that's kind of more off the beaten path. Um, I Your will call. look. F I will go to the Marble Tome Conservatory. Okay. You do know that place. Yeah. Um, it is. It is a little more controlled. You know, it's definitely more of an, uh, an established location. Um, so, who knows? I can't remember. Caleb does, but I can't. Uh, is that, that uh, uh, a shop or more of a library? Uh, it, it, it is a, a library and a place of learning. Mm -hmm. um, that is where Professor Wako is, but that's also where you had the Enchanter Yoon that made her bracers was. Okay. So you have a rapport there. Okay. But it is more of a place of learning. It's up to you if you think you, the rapport that the you shop. have. I'll look for the shop. I'm going to go bargain. Yeah. Bargain bin. Yeah. Diving. Make an investigation check. Come with on, baby. Disadvantage. Let's go. Five dollar DVDs. Yeah. I will say that. Actually. Uh, I was about to drop a fortune's favor on myself before heading out the door. You can do that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make it just situationally here. What property? Persuasion with disadvantage. Persuasion with disadvantage. Because it's less sure. about discovering the information. Yeah. The DC's lower. Um, but because you are a lone human in the middle of Rosona, that uh, is a little more challenging to get information out of people that don't have a rapport with you. So go ahead and roll. I still got my little dingle dangle. You do. Yeah. And in some places. Right, so it's with Fortune's Favor, it's a straight roll. Correct. Persuasion, you said? Correct. I'm sorry. Oh. You spend the better part of the next two hours of people sending you like, oh yeah, no, go down this road to fighting this, and you get there and there's nothing there, and someone goes like, oh, give me wrong directions. You want to go down this corner oh, around there? And it, it takes you a while in your earnestness 
to realize you've been fucked with. And you've just yeah. lost a couple hours, and you've you were been even further lost, and you found spaces you've uh, you've never been to. Uh, you do come across a very large, like almost a hedge maze like garden, on the edge of the Galmafri. It's the only thing of interest you come across, um, but it is beautiful. There's like a you see a, a, an elderly lizard folk who's out there kind of <clears throat> tending to the garden. That's it. It's the only thing of interest okay. you run into. Job well done, Caleb Widogast. I keen mind follow the trail I took to get to this spot back home. Okay, you got it. Good times. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Anybody else? Have anything you want to accomplish while they're in the city? I'm making a really nice tub. It's going to be. There you go, some herbs. Get oh, yeah. Flowers. Get a good in soak. It. Yeah. There you Candles. go. I'm going to wander to the Corona district. <laughs> ah, yes. And see if I can find a servant for hire. <laughs> okay. Um, you have a much better time. Uh, than Caleb did. Uh, yeah, there is work to be had. You go into there, and you can see there are there are a lot of individuals that are hanging out in front of like taverns. Some of them look relaxing, but some of them, when you get close, with kind of that looking eye, kind of be like, "Hey, you, uh, you looking to hire? You got any building work? Can you build anything? Maybe. I, got you, I can help you." Maybe. What is what's your skill set? Are you? like, "I don't listen to him. He's full of shit." Like me and Joey over here, we can totally get you covered. You don't and worry. Joey, eh? Yeah. Um, well, what's your skill set? I'm looking for Joe Deck, but we call him Joey. In in home care, home care. Yeah, no, we care about many homes. They're they're great. Uh, was that right? And he's like, yep. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, more of like a butler sort of a thing. I think he I'll... changes his posture. Of course, we can help you in whatever you require. Isn't that right? He goes, yep. Perfect. Uh, no, thank you. I'll just keep perusing. <laughs> ah, you son of a bitch! And he's just going to scream at you from behind. <laughs> nice. um, there isn't like a, a housekeeping service necessarily, <laughs> um, but I'll say, in asking around, you do, you do come across um, this really, really sweet, uh, young, kind of bright eyed drow girl. Um, who has her, 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 her platinum white hair kind of goes to almost a purple tint at the tips, um, and she keeps it very well kept in the back and kind of tied in two places. She's dressed in nice standard clothing, and you catch her like brooming on the exterior of what looks to be a uh, small livery, um, and immediately you catch the attention of somebody that looks, you know, non-threatening, non-aggressive, and apparently is clean. Uh, he hello there, young young miss. Uh, do, do you work here? I, I do. Oh, um, and your job is to keep things clean and orderly? That is one of my jobs, yes. Oh, I'm looking for, uh, me, for my friends and I are looking for uh, some, someone to help us with our, with our home when we travel. Would you be available to moonlight in that sort of a job, or, or are you, you know, on salary here or something? No, I am. Well, what are you paying, perhaps? Um. Oh boy. Ah. Uh, what What do you make here per day? Well, my standard rate comes to about uh, one gold, five silver. That sounds fine to me. Per day. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <I> mean, <laughs> sounds good to me. Um, be better is, than being that is, there, is there like a, a monthly rate, or is it just every day? This is for a, an extended um, engagement of a yes, business. Yes, we, we sometimes travel for long periods of time, and we would need to be able to trust you. Can we trust you? Can you trust me? Inside check. Go for it. <laughs> she gives you these these very like wayfish doe like eyes and this soft smile. Twenty one. Twenty one. You get a whisper. That's right. Yeah. I get a you whisper out of the hilts of two daggers. Yeah, no shit. Over. <laughs> it's the inevitable end. Um, <laughs> this bracers. whisper is brought to you by did Skillshare. Or did I've I get got those bracers? Yeah. You Wait, you have them? them? She no. made the first one. Because I ha you have to have no armor on. Oh. You're wearing armor on. I have my Frodo armor. You I like you. I like the cut of your jib. What's your name, child? Vidala. 
Vidala is mm. beautiful. I don't trust her. At all. Unquestionably she beautiful. She's a fucking robber. She's blind. What do we have in there? As soon as we leave. A hot tub and a tree. How about this? Because I know that my friends would yeah. not appreciate me hiring Some someone works. without at least a, f- a negotiation. So, would you do it for one gold, four silver yeah, per day? Of, if oh, that's yeah. true, what's what you would prefer, of course. You were talking about a monthly rate, right? Yes. We could go for the daily rate, if it is something you're more preferring. For a monthly rate, we could do it for, let's say, <coughs> 40 gold for the month. Oh. I think that I think that works. Sure. Yeah, that sounds great. Let's do it. But you know what? I can't hire you without introducing you to my friends. So could you walk across town with me? I'm a stranger and I'm a goblin. <laughs> Certainly. Goes <laughs> in, sets the broom back inside, and goes, "Dinner! I'm taking my lunch." <laughs> totally <Whatever. different. laughs> What was that? Okay. Uh, follow me. Of course. All right, I'll walk her back to our place. <laughs> I'm gonna go. This is the beginning of the movie Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Did you watch it? Oh, yes, yes it's all so right. Best movie of last it's year. It's so good. Anyway, uh, continue. I'm gonna go upstairs <laughs> to the tree, okay. to our, where we have all of our... <laughs> Shrines. Mm. Uh, shrines, yes, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's like and I'm going to cast <laughs> Word of Recall. Where are all these fucking spells coming from? Oh. The massive cleric list. Shit. I'm going to cast Word of Recall um, on the little uh, shrine I've made to the Traveler. Okay. Well, I'm pulling it up. Of a lifetime. Recall, yeah, well, I have. Mm. Ah, you designate the sanctuary. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So you have now, as you complete the spell, you can see the tree itself suddenly begins to drop some of its leaves. These green leaves kind of slowly drift down as they hit the ground, a little green light kind of under each one. Eventually they all scatter from a breeze that seems to come from nowhere. And you sense the familiar presence of the traveler kind of smiling upon this. It's a particular land. Sure. Awesome. Anybody else doing anything? You don't have to, but you can just wait if you're not particularly going to something. Bo, you, you have the plus two bracers of defense you, you took me? Those are plus two? Yeah. <coughs> so the ones you have are plus two. Oh, yeah, mine are the exact same. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe I can sell these or something. We'll figure it out. I think we're like, you order something online and immediately see something just slightly better. <laughs> I had a better price. Yeah, yeah. you're like, oh, it's like a few dollars cheaper and like it yeah. has another Perfect. option. But you can only wear them if you're not wearing armor. Oh, yeah, medium right? armor on. Yeah, you got armor on. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you, you can't be wearing oh, yeah, armor. Yeah, because it ups your armor class. Yeah. Um, no shield, no armor. Cut it. Can you? Uh, not. <coughs> no, it has armor. No, it has armor. Never mind. Everybody's got Everybody's armor, got armor. Mm-hmm. now. Jester, can I um, well, play with Sprinkle for a little bit? I'm sure Sprinkle would love that. Don't bite her, okay? Thank you. He's a little um <laughs> skittish. Okay. okay, I'll be very careful. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take him and try to give him a little bath and fluff him up in the hot tub. Okay. Oh, he's gonna hate it. Now, now, to be to be specific here, based on recent adventures and the return from from where you were, um, it very much looks like one of those one of those viral videos of them like cleaning animals after an oil spill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sprinkle is just like. <laughs> I'm sitting in the corner of, of the hot tub with look, my plate of sandwiches. Just look, I haven't been giving. I didn't give him a bath because he almost drowned, and he's like not. And I thought maybe he didn't want to be in the water as all. Well. No, no, no. We all were so messy, and I just I thought you could just you know get them all fluffy. He seems like okay. he likes it, so yeah, you're yeah, doing yeah, a good okay, thing. Okay. Also, a bunch of zombies exploded acid all over. Yeah. <laughs> 
he's bold. protected. He was in my hood. It's bold fine. move. Mm-hmm. Bold move, bathing a dead animal. <laughs> <laughs> you have to prepare them today. <laughs> but nevertheless, you do eventually clean sprinkle off. It, and it's a good thing you're a barbarian. Um, your hands are pretty tough, and the sheer amount of, of, of bites that would have would have definitely hamburgered someone with the softer grips hands. Um, your your thick skin in your mitts. Fairly resistant, especially when it starts pissing you off and you start like rage washing it. Oh. You take half the bite damage from the little. Uh, <laughs> oh no! The little weasel. Um, I'm gonna towel them off, make them all fluffy, yeah. make them look like cute. <laughs> 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 Ugh. Whoa. Wet weasel smells so bad. It's stinky. <laughs> A little, oh I want to put a little flower on him, see oh, okay. if it stays. Uh, through the process, roll an animal handling for me. Yes. <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> so, when. Oh. <laughs> No, no, but mending, mending. Uh, as Yasha brings brings you back, you're a sweet weasel. It's less of a presentation and more of a take it from me. It's like it's actually in the process of okay, okay, nine. Okay, okay. <laughs> He just—he was a little bit of. We all were a mess, and oh, it looks so cute now. Oh, he's gonna—he's he, gonna look so much better, you know. And you've got on a your flower fur. on him. Yeah, he's—he's he's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's, a. He's—it's weird because he's not very friendly. <laughs> <laughs> it's really worked out. Caduceus. Yeah. Do you have any like? Little bugs or pieces of meat or anything you might give him. Hungry. I'm gonna. <coughs> Would you like a sandwich? Would you like a sandwich? He calms a bit. Yeah, yeah, he wants a sandwich. Uh, come here. <laughs> there you go. You want another sandwich? <laughs> yes, and also, also for me. Thank you. <laughs> Eventually, you calm. <laughs> Sprinkle. Uh, Sprinkle is definitely uh, already kind of reticent around Yasha. Uh, it's going You could work towards it, but it's a step back in that relationship. I don't I need fear. to. I think he just was looking a little weird. But right now, it does look like a very nice kind of like boa right now yeah. with the fluffed up red hair. Thank you, Yasha. You're welcome. You look good, Sprinkle. It looks really good now. It's like a really nice. Uh, yeah. Dingling. Oh. Uh, uh, company, uh, family meeting, house meeting. I'm telling wow. you. Wow. I've got to introduce you to your potential employers. They might have some questions about your CV and your past work experience. Of course, of course. Be God, what I, the I, fuck? No, no, this is fine. I've brought a young lady here. Her name is Vendetta, if I, if I remember. Vendetta? I don't really remember. Was What's it your name? Your name is Vendetta? Oh, What? She shoots herself. Um, do you guys have to take your question? Like, I, I don't know how much time you want to spend on this. <laughs> All of it. Oh, okay. God. Yeah, totally. You don't want to steal things from us. Of course. Uh, this could be our uh, person who takes care of the home when we oh. are away. Okay. She, I know her qualifications are she can use a broom and she speaks our language. Oh, that's wonderful. Do you steal things? Uh, no, why would I steal something? Well, that's excellent. We have the ability to monitor every room in this uh, house, so. Why wouldn't you steal things? Oh, what, what do you know? No, I mean, you only so, should trust someone who knows that they could steal things, but then also has the restraint and the loyalty I'm to know that they I'm gonna cast Zone of Truth. All right, you cast Zone of Truth. On like all of us, as many people that Everyone I can Everyone make wisdom the saving oh, throws. Oh my god. 10. Natural 20. Oh. oh. 21. 13. I'm just okay. gonna lie about everything because I can. Five. So Yasha, Ford, and Caleb and <laughs> not fail. And so does she. Okay, good. 
right. Are you trustworthy? I'd like to think so. Uh, this would be a better job than the one I currently have. And, uh, How much do you currently make? Currently, I make about uh, four silver pieces a day. Wait! That, oh, interesting. No, what? No. No, keep going. That, How much? I was going to say, wait, that seems low. Horse and more bander manure. Oh. oh. Do you clean houses? I have before, but it's been some time. You guys got this? Mm -hmm. Did you want to ask for No, I'm good. What do you mean, you're good? Do we all need to be here as we interview the housekeeper? Yes! This is a house meeting. I said house meeting, that means the whole house. What's the your name here? Do you have any experience taking care of house plants? No. Do you feel prepared to learn how to take care of plants? I think so. Okay. What's Do you favorite? like me? <laughs> you seem uh, aggressively likable. I like you. Are you afraid of weasels? Why? <clears throat> She's afraid of weasels. What's your favorite color? Blue? What's your favorite color? Green. Who are you asking? You. Oh. Oh. No. Uh, green. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Oh, I don't have one. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Wait, you don't have one? <laughs> that is weird. I mean, Do I've known green? you for so long. Yeah. That is the weirdest not? thing. Favorite color. Yellow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't pick favorites. But how do you see the world? Silver. Silver? Yeah, that's oh, a good so color. See that? Uh, what about yours, things. How do I see color? Is that what you're? Yeah. <laughs> we really have some important things we need to get to. If you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're totally right. Does anybody have a crush on me? Oh. Uh, Chester, you know everyone does. What? No. Okay, back to you though. What's the most expensive silverware you've ever stolen? I've never stolen. Lies. She's lying. No, she's not. She's telling the truth. You're right. She's telling the truth. <laughs> what did you tell? <laughs> what did you tell her? What are you talking about? Bo, are you drunk? <sighs> I don't trust her. If you don't trust me, I can go. No, 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 no. Let's I put it to a vote. Yes. Let's vote. All in favor. You have good intentions here. Do you want to keep a job here? Are you going to try to do anything shady? Those are like different styles. Yeah, but. I would like. I have good intentions. I would like to, you know, live above the current means that I do. Um, if you are people that are very difficult to work with and keep, then I wouldn't stay in this job. We're not. We're never here. Let's vote. Yeah. All in favor. Yeah. Uh, hey, you're hired. Congratulations. How much, how much, much you make? make? How, did she, how much do you make right uh, now? We had discussed a 40 gold each month for the housekeeping. Holy, holy fucking shit! That's no. what I'm talking about. That's what. What's wrong with that? That's, that's, that's insane. Is that insane? Is that insane? Do we you have want lots of money. Currently makes four silver. Is that high? Is, did a, you quote something raise. very high for us? I have a turn up. Give me quote five better than what I'm making now at the. Yeah, by like 5,000%. We'll pay it, you're hired, you start today. Thank you very much. I'll get my stuff. She's a grifter, I can smell it on her. One recognizes one of their own, all right? You say that about literally everyone yeah, we meet. You're projecting super hard right now. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> take care of the house. Uh, we don't have any keys. Guard the door with your life. Um. <laughs> am, I staying, am I starting now or tomorrow? Immediately! Yeah. yeah, you can start right away. You sleep in the hot tub at night. And you can't no, tell your previous no, employers. No, she's lying. You can't speak to your previous you employers. Lie. If you do, you can't lie right they'll now. be killed. That was killed. a joke, it wasn't a lie. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, okay. I can't say that. <laughs> It's a very strange house. <laughs> we're, we're aware. Yeah. We're glad you're here. Can we go now? Yeah, we're, we're going to, to Essex. Oh, to Essex. Are you, are you leaving now? I'm just asking, it's up to you guys. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what else are we going to do? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should just you're go. Okay. Thank you. Watch the place. There's instructions on how to we take have care no of plants in the so. kitchen. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Yes. If I cast something from a wand, do I need the spell components for it, or does it cancel it because I have a wand? Uh, it, it'll usually say for most wand-based magical items uh, without material components. Okay. 
Um, I think the wand handles it. I don't think you need the components for the wand. Got enjoy, it. Okay. I think. What um, wand do you have? Pretty um, sure. I have the wand yeah, you don't, you of don't the need solitary smiles. scout yeah, and you, the wand of smiles. Yeah, you, you don't need the like guano if you're using a wand of fireballs or anything. It's it's, it's part of the enchantment as okay. the wand handles it, I'm pretty sure. Wands a. It's rolled in, in, in the phosphorus like a churro. I will get my things and begin immediately. Do we have we have a we have quarters for that? Pleasure right? to meet you. Uh, yeah, there's an extra room. That makes life easier. What was yeah. her name again? I, you know what? No, what I, I, what was your name? I don't remember. That. I'm not sure that Matt does either. I literally said it on the spot and forgot to write it down. That's my problem now. Vendetta. <laughs> you know it's what? Vendetta. You know what? We'll ask her. We'll ask her when she gets back. But I can't ask her. We'll ask again later. What was it? I think it's like Vidala or something. I, I'll try to remember. I should have. Fi- Internet. I usually good about writing it down. I'll find it out tomorrow. I can't ask her. She'll know I didn't remember. So one of you ask her. All right. Vidala. Vidala. All right. So I wasn't too far off. No one selfs name themselves Vendetta. Vidala. Without issues. Hey, we have somebody working for us. That's pretty cool. You're welcome. Nice to done. That was a really high price though, because um, you know we have. People that like clean up my mom's quarters and stuff, and they oh. cost way less than that. Well, um, I think. <laughs> I mean, doesn't matter to me because you're all we're all splitting it. So mm. no, no, we're not. That's okay. Yeah, we can split it if you want. Oh yes, Essek. Oh, we'll be right there. <laughs> oh, it's quite urgent that we get to his He's place. He's messaging you. Quickly. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, right. uh... You head your way over towards <laughs> Essex's home. <laughs> They're finishing up here. You head to his his familiar towers, where you had previously enjoyed the cheese and crackers provided to you. Um, you're greeted by Essex, who leads you back into the interior. Well, I was not expecting you to return to Rosanna so soon. I take it your journey was successful? Yeah. We believe so, yes. Should we try the spell again before we go? I mean, I haven't even really meditated about it yet. Oh, you're right. Okay. Well, you said you needed to travel somewhere, so. Yes, is that okay? Yes, it's it's okay. I, <laughs> you know, it prevents me from some of my capabilities throughout the day each time I do this, oh. so. While I'm here in my home and things are not requiring me to be elsewhere rapidly, thankfully this is a moment in time in which uh, I am more useful here in the city. It's but, greatly appreciated. Yeah. I'm sure we'll find a way to balance the scale sometime. Is there any news on your end? What I know is many of the Many of the elements of the military on both sides are holding hard lines at the exterior of previous battlefields. There has been some small-scale negotiation and discussion as far as preparation for this gathering. Ships have already set out with the prisoner from one of our outposts. It is quite a long trek from our side of Wanandir. I believe the same is begun, traveling from the uh, Dwendorian Empire to eventually find its way towards the Menagerie Coast. Are, are we going to miss the negotiation? It takes weeks. The right? negotiation is about three, three and a half weeks from now, I believe. Okay. So okay. as long as you can ensure your return by then, otherwise it'll just have to continue without you. Wow, okay. Is it that and then travel? It's that and then traveler yeah, yeah. Like days later? Yeah. Okay. That's pretty rapidly after. We'll like, be close. That's less than a week after the where the negotiation is set is when Traveler Cons probably gonna happen. Yeah, so. Okay, it's out in the water, so. So where would you like me to take you? Caduceus. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're going to uh oh, yeah, we're, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's a vast space, yeah, so some are more <clears throat> Can you describe exactly where we're going? No, I've never been there. Oh. <clears throat> Didn't you say it was near the forest that we have been to? No. It's, uh, Do you not uh, know what I'm supposed to be taking you? That is, where is the map? It's impossible. It's the, uh, no, we know. We know where it. we're going. I know the name it of the, it. It was the the forest downway. That's the wrong. That's the wrong map. Wrong map. Is it this one? No. <laughs> we need your help. We have so many maps. It's right there. 
It's right there. It's right there. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's over here. Right over over here. here. Uh, White Dawn Lagoon, if I recall, is that where we're? White Dawn Lagoon, right? Okay. I've not been there, but I know of its existence. That puts us in a possible chance of arriving. Are we? Are we? Gambling with fate by going to Should I place? scry on the White Dawn Lagoon? Can I scry? I can't scry on the location. No. I always forget this. I don't have it prepared anyway. I don't have it prepared either, so I could not. It would be helpful to me to do so, which means we could either go now and chance it, or we could try tomorrow. Let's chance it. Chance it. Chance it. What's life without a little so risk? Much can go wrong with this. Of course, but so much can go wrong with all sorts of so true. elements of magic. Exciting, though, as we've experienced together once before, sometimes painful. Mm-hmm. But if you insist, let us all take hands if you are ready. Oh boy. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to uh, make a prayer for everything to go well. Oh. <laughs> I'm the gonna wild mother is silent. I'm going to <laughs> put my hands on Essex's shoulder, and I'm going to say, "The traveler is with you, my child." Thank you, Jester. Yeah. <laughs> come, come, and he kind of glides over into the center of his main, oh, his, his, his main uh, chamber. These watches he kind of moves that way. The furniture <laughs> kind of, you know, scoots on on its own to the sides and leaves the open space. Puts his hands out. You all clasp hands, and he goes, "White on Lagoon." Fingers crossed. And as he begins to to finish his incantation, you can hear the voice echoes, growing louder and louder. You can see along the ground between your feet these little kind of light gray lines begin to. Sh- sh- connect you all in the center as it glows brighter, brighter, and then poof, you feel that familiar scent of you all oh being pulled into nothingness. I need somebody to roll a d100 for me. Talisman. 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 Yeah. That's um, 99. Whoa. It is? Is that good or yeah, bad? Yeah, it's 99. I don't know. Hold I on. I'm trying to have it's a hard to read divine inspiration. That would have been amazing. Yeah. That I rolled been... that last time. That would have been crazy. <laughs> I... Mercer's Mer- 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 early phase journey is interesting. Think, think that's. Yeah. I think that I have to roll like 11. Yeah. Super bad. Mm. Not good. Not good? That's not good? No, actually, it's really good. Okay. That's really good. That is on target. Oh, that's like oh, wow. super duper on target, right? It's yeah. one way or the other. <laughs> you had a 25% chance of this succeeding. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. This is only based on a description. He's not even viewed it before. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, wow. There's a 43% chance for a mishap on that one. But you rolled a 99. I rolled it. Look at that. That's yeah, really pretty. Really oh, nice. 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 Sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good dice. Good. This is really good. So. <laughs> You all suddenly go from the cold night to the bright midday sun of a bluer sky above. You can see most of the clouds that you're used to seeing in the Dunalian Empire not there, aside from a few small plumes of white across the horizon. You are partially looking out to what looks to be a, uh, a green, kind of grassy stretch of hill that then vanishes before you see ocean to the south. The glittering waters of the Lucidian Ocean. You kind of look to your right and behind you, and you can see the elements of a mountain range that vanish to the north. Broken gray rocks and a uh, looks like a deep ravine that begins to carve its way southward or northward from where you stand. It's a number of miles away. It's barely visible on the horizon. But immediately before you, you can see this vast jungle. This dense tropical forest that seems to wrap around and encompass a large portion of this shoreside cliff expanse. You assume that you're probably pretty close to or right at the area known as the White Dawn Lagoon. 
Essek immediately goes, ah, I think this was a success. This, this looks about right. When was the last time you saw the sun? Ah, it's been a number of, uh, I think probably since the last time I took you somewhere, Miss Bright. Uh, Does it hurt you? It's not comfortable, but it is uh, tolerable. <laughs> Is this what you are seeking? Does this, does this mountain range look familiar from my visions? Uh, I mean, the mountain range itself isn't familiar to you, mm. but the visions you've had definitely, uh, your visions specifically are of a, a, an oasis in the middle of a jungle. Sure. You don't know which one or where. And so none of this is familiar to you, but you seem to have been brought to where you requested. I get down on the All ground right. and paint a parasol. And pop it out and go. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chester. You're so cute. With I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> this takes a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> He's Mary Poppins, yo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit down, sand out a little. I'm going to face face the, the, the mountains. There's a jungle, I assume, in front of us. Yes. The, um, <laughs> And uh, I'm going to cast Commune. Okay. I'll sit down often to his right behind him. Okay. Kind of lend your presence to the Commune as well. Mm -hmm. You've got it. Does my destination lie before me? As you kind of focus, all of you feel the uh, the still air become a warm seaside breeze, uh, a welcome shift from the colder climates which you've traversed as of late, and familiar to those who grew up on the Menagerie Coast, this further south on Jorhas definitely resembles the places where you two grew up. As the warm wind kind of blows through, you get a sweet smell, a familiar smell. This kind of sweet, honeysuckle-like flower aroma that reminds you of times in your youth when you were on the right path. And this, the wind blows in the direction of the jungle in front of you, the trees swaying inward. Is it under a day's walk? The breeze comes to a still. Uh, still blowing, but gentler. Uh, you get the sense that the answer is inconclusive. Is it dangerous? The breeze picks up once more, but is rapidly cold. Not in a way that it denies it, but definitely confirms that there is danger ahead. About a day's journey. It is dangerous. But we head this way. Lead the way. Okie dokie. You, do you know what, what we're looking for? A house, a, a hill, a grove? An oasis. An oasis. <clears throat> Are we walking along the beach, or? No, we're walking into the jungle. Great. Mm. You can hear the various jungle birds and wildlife giving off loud caws and crows and distant insects chirping. It's a, it's a wild, tangled space. As it goes, well, that is not for me. Uh, thank you, Jester, and good luck. <clears throat> and kind of like glides over and lands down to this <laughs> patch of sand and begins to take his finger and carve out what looks to be a teleportation circle. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Of course. Continues his work. Spitzball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the jungle awaits you. Okay. Shall you, we? Thank you for this. You don't uh, teleport to a place like this. You have to. You have to make it there. Are we cheating in some way? Or this is as close as I was comfortable getting. Now we make it. Now we walk. Okay. 
All right. Guys. Mm -hmm. Begin to trek your initial steps into this jungle, stepping over heavy, thick base roots, pushing past all manner of flora and fauna, heavy ferns that rise up to maybe five, six feet, some even taller the further in you get. The path that you trek is not a path. There is no walked path in this area. You're having to climb over and carve probably the first steps from this point of entry that have made their way from any journeyman. Well, I'm going to try and let as much flora, fauna, and animal life know that why we're here, what we're looking for, and that we're just passing through, heading, heading to the oasis. All right. The air itself is very warm, which is comforting. <clears throat> Especially given the last night that you spent in the chilly mountains on the northern side of the Sirius mountain range. Um, numerous heavy vines wrap around the thick, thick tree trunks, and a number of which begin to wrap and cluster in front of you, forming small barriers that you kind of have to hack through and push your way around. You find uh, small nests of insects and other small woodland creatures built along bases and the way upward. Uh, some of these trees, very like banyan tree type, like these thick squat trees with these heavy, heavy, just dozens and dozens of thick branches that build up into the large canopy, each one kind of nodding and tangling with the next, forming this network with occasional breaks where you can see the, uh, the dust and pollen and other sorts of, uh, of various uh, nature-based clouding material that drift through and elements of light peak in beams that begin to greet you as you push from one barrier to the next. Uh, the smell and the scent is profoundly comforting, though odd. It is nature in a way that is full of life. It's sweet, similar to the, the smell that came with the breeze of your commune, but more varied and diverse in the way that it affects uh, the memories that come to mind that are connected to some of these kind of smells. Um, who's keeping watch as you progress into this? What is the marching order? Oh, geez. I'm assuming you're I'm in front, front I guess. This is the leader, yeah. I'll be behind it, produces. I'll pull up the rear, maybe. I'll go behind Ford. I'll take the center of the line. Okay. I'll go behind Yasha. Okay, I'll protect so, Caleb and so Ford, you're behind mm -hmm. Caduceus. Ford and Yasha with swords slicing through. Yeah. All right, so you're, so Ford and Yash are up there, yeah. right there. How hot is it, by the way? Uh, down here, I'd say it's probably, it's not terribly hot. Uh, it's mid 80s. Oh, if I definitely take yeah, off my God, overcoat. Uh, Holy sure. yeah. moly. Yeah. yeah, so like, it's not terribly hot, um, but given the amount of things you have on and the sense of, of the clothing you've been wearing for different climates, you're immediately starting to sweat. Um, we'll take so, off. So, Beauregard, right. you're in the middle yeah. with Caleb, you said? Yeah, I'll be directly behind like Caleb and Nod, I think, next to Jester. Okay, there you go. Caleb's hair is just getting really long, so he puts it up. You got it. Kind of pull Top knot or little, a little oh, ponytail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which uh, one? Back. Or the little just like half, no, the little half -er? fur? No, no, full ponytail. Full pony? Uh -huh. mm. Okay, it's um, good. Rolled up the sleeves. <laughs> um, all right, so. Have yours out, like that. You just tie it in a knot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have this like ribbon. You just kind of do a little loopy loop. This Yours is, is going getting there, actually. Gotta yeah. Put, I put like a little itty bitty. Yeah. Oh, uh, are, are you like on your way weeks. to karate class, little boy? <laughs> get, a, get, a, get a ribbon on that, on I, that bitch. I, I pick like a piece of grass, <laughs> tie it around. There you go. Nailed it. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it's getting mid-afternoon at this point. <laughs> With your time in, in Rosona, you're probably like a few hours away from dusk. Uh, you push for the first hour in. Uh, this is going to be another traversing a dangerous element of nature uh, skill challenge. So. Uh, who wants to helm the first leg of this? I'll be with, with a, uh, just perception and, and with my sense of where I was being led. Got uh, it. And before we head out, uh, Caleb reaches the pearl way up high to Caduceus' forehead and casts for a few moments and cast uh, Fortune's Favor on you. Oh. All right. Mm. Well, one luck for the day, whenever. It could be now, it could be later. All right. Nice. So perception, I'm going to give myself a little 
boost as well. Let's do it small. Um, that's 21. 24. Ooh. 24. Okay. Yeah. In helping lead the group forward, you find what seems to be the clearest path that doesn't immediately cause you to slow in your travel through. The earlier parts of this jungle are dense, but it's getting denser. And at least this first part doesn't seem to be as uh, dangerous as you surmise the interior may have been alluded to by your conversation with the Wild Mother Melora. Um, it's beautiful. It's calming. And for those of you who've never spent much time in tropical settings, uh, in particular, uh, you, Yasha, who uh, of everyone here has probably been the most removed from a lot of these spaces, it is, it is gorgeous. And some of the flowers themselves, bright and vibrant, you can't help but wanting to kind of pick and keep. Caduceus, um, can I take a flower from here? Uh, let me know and I'll ask permission. Some of these things also do bite. You gotta be careful. Make a nature check for me. All right. I want to reroll that. I'm using my. Even worse. So soon. Already. Uh, that was sad. Uh, four. What? Wait, what was the other? Eight. Does he get to look at the writing on the spells? Take that. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a, like a luck point, so you can roll twice and Let me take check. the higher. Oh, then eight. Twelve. Ooh, hot dog. <laughs> Choose which to use. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Okay. I don't know which ones are. <laughs> you point at one flower, you think, wow, oh, that's brightly colored. That's probably dangerous. That one's kind of muted. That one you could probably pick. Not the same I asked permission, of course, before we. You did. It's more than ask consent. Yeah. Um, you really don't know what you're talking about no. in this particular instance, but luckily there wasn't a huge issue with this one, so you picked the flower <laughs> without problem. <laughs> yeah, you were very lucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> Uh, it's a kind of. It was a cricket. Like a oh teal color that towards the edges of the petals. And it's, it's like a white flower. It's like that big. The edges of the, <laughs> of the petals, it tends to go to a deep, sea, like sea blue. It's a frog that looks like a flower. It's very pretty. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's that too. Um, but you manage to find uh, the best path forward that does not slow your progression into the jungle. Who wants to helm the next oh, leg yeah. of this? Uh, I will try. Oh, yeah. I didn't get it. All right. Sure. What, are you, what are you doing to help you? Mosquito. No, that was just lame. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'll step forward <laughs> and I'll say, Listen, you fucking jungle! I'm a paladin of the wild mother! You're gonna move or we're gonna bust you wide open! We're gonna wreck this place! Don't make me fucking tell you twice! <laughs> Can I intimidate it? <laughs> go ahead and roll yeah, intimidation. I love that you this tried to deceive and intimidate. This is not going to go well. Yes, yes intimidate the woods, yes! 21. Yes! <laughs> okay. You shout out loudly into the jungle, out in front of the group, just yelling. You can see all these birds like <laughs> scatter from above at the canopy. Things start rushing and running out of the space. Looks pretty quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. intimidated for you sure. It's the hairdo. Yeah. yeah. You take a confident step forward. <laughs> a, a massive plant that was just beyond the root you were standing on just devours Ford. Just oh completely vanishes inside of a large flytrap like pod. Use your luck point! <laughs> Oh no! You hear, oh, no. I try to pull it open. Roll a strength check. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm giving you a d4. Take eight points of acid damage for it. Oh. I'm giving you a d4 on that too. D4? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh good. 18? 18. <laughs> you start pulling the pot open. You're in there, it's not enough to quite get him out. Like, like you don't pull him out, but the pot is open. You can go ahead and attempt to escape if you'd like. I would like to, please, yes. Uh, I some of the sword just. Try and cut I'll, through. I'll say it's easy enough. Okay. This, this, the, the, this, this, pot, this plant looks more dangerous than it really is. Um, and between the two of you, managed to, to get him out, and it, and it slowly kind of like pulls open. <laughs> Good job, Ford. Now we know to watch out for those. Yeah. Maybe we should be quiet. Yeah. Just a thought. Oh, sorry. That's a, 
Ah, oh, it stings. <laughs> yeah. The pod is like a purplish color on the outside, which is very glaring, but when it's open, the interior itself is almost perfectly camouflaged with the oh, extremely man. green and. Uh, so now we know what to look for. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. We look for ground that looks like ground. That looks like it looks like ground. Mouth. <coughs> Be careful. Oh, smart. smart. <laughs> All right. Who would like to take this next leg? Um, oh boy. Um, I'll take it. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, it. Okay. Well, what what's what skill? What are you attempting to? To aid this journey with. And oh, how. I was just going to do a survival. Uh, okay. You can, survival is a way to do it? No, let me think if there's yeah, something no, better good. here. Just explain how it, how it it's pertains. It's better than to intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> if you rolled high enough, I was like, can I'll figure I, out something. Can I try to um, look at the path and investigate to see if there's a, a nice, easy way through? Investigation could possibly, yeah, you can give it a slow, shot. Slow down, orphan maker. Puts the pearl up to her head. Beep, 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 beep. It lasts for a whole hour. Wow. Uh, lasts for an hour. Hour. Oh. Okay. Uh, that means I can reroll. Yeah, right. Now. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's cocked. It's cocked again. I'm sorry. That okay, okay, that's better. No, I love it though when it rolls well. <laughs> <laughs> when it rolls well. It certainly wasn't the last time it rolled. That was uh, really 19. Bad. 19, okay. You do slow the travel of the group slightly because you're taking the time to be very careful. And this, this is your. Well, you're not used to jungle. You're definitely used to dangerous marshland and you know tangled paths through heavy vegetation, though a very different kind. But there are some elements that are consistent through. And you know, Bo backs you up a little bit too, being very keen in the eyes. But peering through, you find the areas that immediately look like they've been walked a little more about the wildlife, which means they're the ones that are probably most successfully traversed by those that live here often. And following those paths, those trails, and the signs of like uh, edges of trees where you can see darkening coloration from animals that have brushed against it to mark their territory and such, you see the familiar signs of these things and go, this is probably where we should go. And you do manage to get on for another hour or so without any serious issue. Mm -hmm. um, it is starting to get dark. Mm, what's the ground look like here? I mean, it's rough. Um, you could you could take a while to search for a place to set up a dome, like comfortably. Mm -hmm. That'll probably take the rest of the time before the daylight closes, or you can Caleb keep pushing up for his hand as they're walking. Okay. You think, You'll have to quite clear area too to make it. To like find a dome spot. Well, travel there, through the night there are also trees here. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of like you know, camping in the trees. Yeah, there's Actually, probably large cats and evil animals, maybe that live up there. What are you basing that off of? I don't know the books I read. We're we're near the menagerie, which means there could be all sorts of strange animal life. Is, it could be very varied. Is there a tree very, nearby? Very, there are trees everywhere it's nearby. Like tall, tall ones. They're all, I mean, from what you can tell, I mean, the canopies are kind of low for the thickness of them. They're very squat jungle trees. You're not quite sure how tall, you know, from where you currently are, they are, but some of them are probably a good 20 or so feet up. I want to, from nearby, judge the tallest one that I have and climb it. Okay, this one looks to probably be close to 30 or so feet. All right, climb it for vantage. Okay. Go I'm going to smack Robot on the way up and say, the Traveler loves you. Thing. Decided. Decided. <laughs> you can take the athletics or acrobatics, your choice. I will take acrobatics. Half fast, okay. but. And do I have like a um, my wall run type of situation? My unarmored <laughs> movement. Yes, you do. That's right, because you can you can uh, run up vertical run. surfaces. So you actually probably don't even have to roll for this. Monk, yeah. Freaking monks. Uh. Yeah, this is part of the. There it is. What's up with that? That's an interesting looking die you have there. This is the, it's the goldfish. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's part of the slow fall movement? No. Um, unar unarmored movement. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. So, yeah, with your current movement, you could probably just. You don't even have to roll, you can just run up that tree. Cool. Um, thanks, Traveler, and I've run up. You see, Bo just gets a running start and. Wow. 
He's and vanishes. He is. She thinks it's the traveler. It's just because Jester smacked my ass, though. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm just very invigorated by that. I respect yeah. it. Yeah. Um, okay. You head up to the top and glance over, and immediately your eyes are kind of taken by the bright sunlight. Um, oh, it's still daylight. Well, it's it's you're getting close. Like you have about an hour or so before you lose all daylight. It's starting to get that dusk color, but it's still. Setting in that direction, and the bright kind of orange yellow color of it in that way catches you from the darker canopy that you ran up. Dark under the trees. Um, it's beautiful, though. The view here, you can see of the ocean to the distance just past the canopy, and it's thick and it goes on endlessly. In fact, all you can pretty much see is just green and a little bit of blue on the horizon to the south, and that's kind of what catches you at the moment. Um, I try to, I kind of blink my eyes to focus any. Clearings nearby? Any patches? Make a perception check. Oh, you still have that D4. Okay, okay. Yeah, I still have a butterfly. Baggins mom. Butterfly. From. Ooh, from the. She didn't bless. burn it. The bless just holds until you use it. Oh, you use bless. Okay. No. No, not bless. It's guidance. Uh, guidance. Guidance yeah. just holds guidance. until you use it. for a round. I'll allow it. Because yeah. you ran it pretty quick in yeah. one round. Sure. Okay, then. I'll allow it. That is 25. Two minutes. 25, okay. Yeah, total. Guidance, guidance is up to a minute. Travel. Oh, up until you used? Got it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's head. right, that's right, minute. All right, so yeah, you you kind of focus your eyes for a second, glance out, and you think. for Jester. <sighs> you think you see um, probably about a quarter mile off in a southwestern direction, an area where the canopy kind of folds in a bit. What we what would be like a small pocket that isn't completely flush with the rest of the tree line within your immediate vicinity. That is? Wait, what? Isn't. 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 Yes. There's a little okay. bit. The okay. closest you can think of is a quarter mile west. So we just said? Yeah, southwest. Of where you're so southwest. Okay. I can't climb back down. Quarter mile southwest. Oh, Follow me. Okay. Yeah, right. not far. Like 10 minutes. All right. Yeah. A quarter mile? Quarter yeah, mile. Quarter mile. Yeah. Okay. I mean, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Following uh, those four, leads, minutes. Four, four minutes. Um, and you guys continuing to carve through the jungle path, you eventually come upon a, a small element of the clearing where you can see a tree has fallen. Um, it was, you know, whether it was really old or really sick, uh, it kind of collapsed under its arm right to one side, the roots tearing up on one end, and uh, you can see the inside of where the exposed roots of it are. It's been kind of hollowed out and it's probably home to a number of Creatures that aren't currently present, uh, but it is a a clearing where you could place the dome relatively comfortably. Though you'd have to kind of clear the floor from some of the nearby uh, ferns and other. It's heavy my imagination that something probably lives here. I mean, I'm there's gonna a take a look to see if it seems like something big lives inside this tree. Okay, make a nature check. Oof. My nature is terrible, which is part of the fun of this. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen's not too bad. From what you can tell, elements of this have been carved and hollowed out by probably some sort of a, a rodent-type creature based on the tooth marks and the, the scratches. Uh, probably no larger than that size, and probably a dozen or so have made homes within this, the base of the tree. How big would I imagine these creatures to be, like this big? Like about as big as I just yeah. showed you, yeah. Okay. There's a bunch of, bunch of little animals that live in this. I don't know if we should camp inside. I think maybe off to the Sprinkle. side. Oh, You can make some friends. So we don't disturb them. Oh. I don't think he wants to make them. Maybe he'll want to stay here forever. Maybe <clears throat> yeah. he can live. Live a, a life of an animal. For like a day. Sprinkle, do you want to stay with me or do you want to live the life oh of a wild creature? <laughs> <laughs> Should we make a hut? Let's make a hut. <laughs> she doesn't wait for an answer. <laughs> Just make a hut. <laughs> so you can set up. Okay. But after clearing the space a bit, and by the time you get ready for it, you were losing the last bit of daylight, so the timing's pretty pretty perfect, actually. <laughs> As Caleb is preparing, I'll take a little sip of whiskey. No, no. I knock it out. <laughs> with um, what? Then. With I backhand. Your flask. I dodge it. <laughs> roll, roll an attack roll. Reckless. 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 Reckless
Uh, you can be reckless if you want to. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, yeah. Uh, 22. Did you? I mean, that hits, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it lands a little ways off. I pick it up. <laughs> you told me to do it. But I was just sort of kidding. You want? No, you weren't kidding. Not at all. I, we're keeping you accountable. All right. Good. We're a tribe now. That was a test, and you passed. <laughs> okay. Well, do you want a sip for being good? <gasps> yes. That was a test. <laughs> I put it in my bag. <laughs> Beautiful. I love all of this. Alrighty. You set up the dome without issue. Uh, the nocturnal beasts of the night begin to go about their evening hunt, and you can hear the distant sounds of creatures you aren't familiar with. Kind of growling. Her and making calls to each other in the distance. It's unsettling, but you feel comfortable making here. Calls to each other in the distance. Hello. <laughs> I'm just real curious how your night's been over there. Kind of real, real heavy over where I live. Do you hear all these bugs? <laughs> um, Mom. <laughs> but who's taking first watch? Uh, if you're taking any watches, or if you guys just all going to sleep, you feel pretty comfortable. But it's up to you. I'm going to stay up for just a little bit, and I'm going to draw. I'm going to take out Molly's tarot deck, okay. and I'm going to draw on one of the cards. I've thought of one of the cards that I want to make. Oh, okay. What is it? On one, so you know that optical illusion where one side looks like old lady and you flip it and it's like a pretty woman? Uh-huh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make a dual card and one side's going to be the hag, and then when you flip it over, it's the maiden. Oh. Huh? Hot. What and in that? Yeah. So that card's called the Hag and Maiden. The Hag and the Maiden. They each have two names. Look like you. That's very cool. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she may right. be like a little blue <coughs> color. In Ooh, the phone. That's good. That's good. All right. I have some a quick thing I want to do before bed as well. I'm not taking a watch, or maybe I will, but um, I uh, get out the ingredients. I need to cast Find Familiar, and I place my uh, raven cat down in the center and mutter a few words and spend the time on it. Oh, it takes an hour. Takes an hour. And 10 minutes. And uh, suddenly I have a small uh, cappuccino uh, monkey Ooh. with okay. uh, little speckled spots cool. all over him. All righty. Slick, 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 slick. All right. You see Sprinkle try to escape the dome. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> yeah, but he does not have the passcode to come back uh. in, so. <laughs> Sprinkle is curled up, comfortable in my hood, a little unnerved by all of the crazy noises. A little unnerved. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. New development. All right. yeah. So you, f- you finish summoning your monkey and go to bed. You're finishing the call. Yeah. Summoning the monkey yeah. Yeah, all night long. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, shit. Every, every wizard's early days at, Wizard at school <laughs> spent a little too much time summoning the monkey. Um, all right. Um, so, but Jesse, you're taking first watch. Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, everyone else is asleep for the. Uh, the early portion of the night. In that time that you're finishing your card drawing and getting excited. You can't help but kind of catch something in the corner of your eye. And outside of the dome, beyond the edge of the glade, you see a familiar green robe. You step out of the dome and quietly make your way beyond the clearing where the traveler waits as you. Come with me. 
You've always been so quick to learn, so very clever. I grow so proud. I think it's time. Time for what? Do you trust me? With everything in my being. Come, he turns and walks further into the darkness of the jungle, a faint kind of green glow lighting up the space around him as he walks. I glance back at the dome. I'll take off after the traveler. Okay. As he walks, you can see, kind of out of the corner of the green light, the vines almost expanding and growing more vibrant around him. Wow. Flowers kind of. As he steps to an area and kind of puts his hand to one side, you can see one of the trees kind of very quietly bends and moves aside, where a little corner of the jungle is kind of serene and removed from the dense expanse around you. Is this the oasis? No, this is your oasis. It's a place to talk. He stands and turns facing you. And he pulls his head back revealing his almost elf-like features, the more exaggerated and fey, his long ears curling behind the head. Beyond any elves that you've seen, his almond-shaped eyes of emerald green and brilliant beneath his thin, feather-like brows. A voluminous orange-red hair curls down the back of the head like a lion's mane, and he smiles. Jester, you are my first disciple. The first one to truly carve the world with your cunning, your joy, and your mischief. I trust you. And are you ready for the absolute truth? Yes. I am the traveler, but it was not always this way. For when I traveled here, it was a, a world before me where I was without burdens, without responsibilities, and without limitations. I drank deep of the muted colors of Alexandria, straining to exit. I plucked at and knotted the lives of many fools from the shadows, amusing myself by leaping into every whim with glee and purpose. And one day I met a little girl who sought that same spark. A little girl who found joy in exposing life's more subtle hypocrisies. A little blue girl who lived a life so small but felt in her heart there was so much more to see. This little girl and I found a kinship. And in that childlike wonder, a view so untempered by the sanctimonious morality of man, and she saw me as a god. So for her, for you, I don the mask of one. I found that with such pure, absolute faith granted towards me, I was exhilarated. I began to seek others who might be waiting for such guidance to bring a bit of un, well, necessary chaos into the world. One by one I traveled and found more souls who needed direction, who found themselves in our shenanigans. It was beautiful. Eons living for only myself, I, I found a new joy in helping others find themselves in a world cruel and painted in dull, divided pigments. With each new faith, I could find myself, I could feel myself becoming what you believe. Then more came. Playful pranks turned into demands. Prayers fighting for my attention. Freshly freed from previously imposed boundaries, I'd managed to really construct my own. 
Now, such faith granted me power beyond what I thought possible to achieve. I was being spread too thin across those who I'd taken under my wing. I thought to bring them all together to unify their causes and perhaps forge community under this banner, my banner, our banner. We are weeks away from the gathering of my lost children who have wound their lives around my boons and counsel. The truth, Jester, is that I have no idea what I'm doing, and I need your help. That's where it ends tonight's episode. Oh, no! <laughs> Holy shit! Just sit there going, fuck off, David Bowie! Fuck off, no one wants you here, David Bowie! Oh my god. Go back to your home, David Bowie! It's so it's cold! cold. <laughs> yes! It's a cult! No, now he's gonna be a god. Yes. You know god. There's paper pants, it's a cult. Long elven features. It's all again. Yeah. It's all again. Yeah. Totally a yeah. 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 Come on. You're totally. saying yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Holy shit. There may be a lot of cults. David Bowie. <laughs> Just David Bowie. I have no <laughs> yeah. idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, if I were ever to meet a god and they said that to me, I'd be like, okay, and now I believe that you I are. Love <laughs> <laughs> this got way out of hand. <laughs> Travel Con is just our tag and strangling 500 people. <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, Garmelie, our tag and there was some or Artagon? Artagon. Artagon. and then it was like by name right. actually. Garmelie was like the fa- the fawn. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Holy so much of so a the fawn, was that a, an illusion yeah, for him? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like his changed yeah. shape. Yeah. Little trickster fawn. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. You did oh, this. Fuck. I'm so oh, excited. You did this. You're huge. Oh. You did this. <laughs> it's so funny. It doesn't what necessarily God. need to be a bad thing. No, it's not. It's super awesome. It's a it's you, a cluster It's a complicated thing, is what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a club <laughs> that you started. You started a club. I did. It's you cult. started a club. Maybe yeah, you, you become you maybe married to somebody and then found the secret door to their basement. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, it's so much more. Oh no, this is oh, fine. This is so amazing. I'm, I'm it's okay. totally okay. Yep. Oh, no. It was going to be great. It was the trigger of your trickery last session that he was like, "Okay, maybe she can help me." <laughs> oh, oh my god! Holy oh, fuck! I love it. I love it so much. Oh my god. It's going to be interesting. Okay. We'll pick that up next week okay. on Thursday. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, look forward to, uh, to oh, seeing you guys so next much. Thursday, and hopefully those stick around on Friday, Valentine's Day, check out our Monster Hearts 2 one shot. Um, yeah. But until then, have a wonderful night. We love you very much, and is it Thursday? Good night. Oh.